you know, but... Uh, um, Understandable. Yeah. yeah, and of course, my friend passing away last week as well. It's been yeah, a, been a shitty well, yeah. week, pretty much. Fucking yeah. Yeah, so... Hey-ho. Hey-ho. It's all, um... All set to try us. Yeah. Good news on Dan, though. At least Dan's all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Um, yeah, it was... Uh, yeah, that is good news. Yeah. Well, I, I start- fucking wonder. I was starting to shit myself last night, to be fair. Uh, yeah, a little bit myself as well. Because, like, he, um, he, he texts me during the afternoon. He's like, oh, I'm going to surgery in a couple of hours. And I was like, all right, yeah, yeah you know, blah, blah, blah. Text me when you're done. Let me know how it goes, sort of thing. And then that was like, like, R5, 6-ish. And then it got to, like, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock at night. I'd still not heard it. I thought, fuck, you know. Yeah. Like, everything going all yeah. right here. Yeah. Head to, was, head to where I was texting you. Yeah. And then I thought, I best leave Kelly alone. I don't want to seem like I'm coming across as as annoying. He, he's going to be worrying enough as it is. Yeah, yeah. I woke, like, woke up this morning, still no messages. I thought, fucking hell, there's no fucking... Something. I, I said, fucking. turned to Beth, I sat there like, something's not right here. Mm-hmm. Whoever's watching my personal stream, um, head over to him, play motorsport. We're going live in five minutes. Um, I'm sat there to Beth like, something's not right here. Something's just... Yeah, and I yeah. Text you this morning. You went, oh, I know he's not had his surgery. He's, uh, he's in this afternoon. I was like, Phew. well, I thought exactly the same as you. I thought he was supposed to be going in. So I'm thinking, that, you know, I didn't hear anything all night. Mm. And I'm thinking, well, is he, you know, was he groggy from the anaesthetic and, you know, whatever. And yeah, yeah, yeah. but as it happens, he didn't have it then, you know. So it's like, oh, fuck. I found out about, I don't know, half eight this morning, you know, and I'm like, Right, fucking hell, I've been worried all night. Yeah, yeah. You know? But, um, yeah. Yeah, it was a little bit concerning last night, but, um, I say, he seems, you know, he's, he's, yeah, all sorted out now, so, um, just road to recovery, really. Yeah, he's, oh, excuse me, he seemed in good spirits. He video called me, no, sorry, he rang me early, and the video called me early, yeah. talking to me with a thumbnail. Um, right. And he seemed in good spirits when he rang, um, and shit, so. Yeah, he would just sat there on yeah, phone yeah. like, "Oh, I've not done you. I've not done you thumbnails. Oh, sorry, I can't talk in commentary." I'm like, "Stop being a twat, right?" <laughs> I says, "It's just a fucking picture. I've got, I've got commentary sorted. Don't, don't worry about that one. You know, your health's more important than fucking. Yeah, totally. you know, if, if I had streaming on my own tonight and there were no thumbnails or anything, I'd, that's that's the way it fucking goes. You know, your health's yeah. more important." You lot said the same to me when my back's gone and shit like that. Now it's the same to you, Dan. Don't fucking panic about it. Yeah. Oh, I swear to and God, he sat, I the, he sat there and he went, he went, um, oh, I'm racing tomorrow. I went, no, you're fucking not. Or I'll be on the pad. And I'm like, yeah. oh, well, then that's your decision what you want to do. Thinking, you're not fucking coming back sitting in Rick Simrig racing, you fucking plonker. Well, yeah, this is it. He said to me, he said, uh, I'm going to have to get on the pad, like, you know, so we'll, well, we'll see how good he is on the pad, shall we? Yeah, I think we'll stay off him tomorrow night, Kelly. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> we'll, we'll see if he races, I, you know, I mean, yeah. Yeah, well, this is where you get to slate Jamie. Oh, and this, I, I do want to make a shout-out tomorrow night, Kelly. Yeah. Peaceful's just been um, officially retired from the army the other day, got his letter and his medal through the post and stuff. All right, so okay. he's now classed as a veteran. Yeah. So I'm just going to say a, little, a few words about Peaceful and that. I've texted his missus to just get, you know, some information, just for stuff mm. I can say on stream, so. Yeah, cool, uh, okay. I got, I got that stuff years ago. Oh, uh, fuck. Apart from all the shit, how's your week been? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> We're feeling good for around here? No, fuck no, not in a way. Um... Right. You've got but hey, we'll see. It's not just the white, you've got Dean on track as well. Whoa, we whoa, 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 whoa. We could have weird, we could have you on the fucking track, don't we? Well, that's the very true point. Well, I just but had I'm a race. Track. I'm not, I've not been on track properly since... Fucking shit, yawn. It's always the same fucking shit. Yawn, yawn, um, yawn. Yeah, yeah Rabbit Joe like set up a lobby with yeah. a race. And I mean, rabbits going two seconds a lap faster than me. With when the rain hasn't been too hard, but the the track gets so wet, you just can't go any faster. Puddles. I remember yeah. from doing GTE when we did GTE oh. season on the Friday night. I remember Fury yeah. and Gary Turn going round. Two rounds. man. Yeah. Two and two and two is crazy. But I was just doing practice and staying on track. 
Anyway, yeah, yeah. there was another guy. It was it was an open lobby, so there was about ten guys ended up in there. It was only in the only people we know was um, Joe and DJ Phil, oh. and um, there was I think I, I think I was fifth um, in qualifying, and beat them all because they all dropped it. Z. So consistency might be the, uh, the the call of the day again. Yeah, but we'll see. I mean, we had a Joe set up a an hour long qualifying. By the time you've had an hour of rain, it's really quite wet. Yes, yeah, I can imagine. But we haven't got an hour, have we? We've got half an hour's going to be the longest stint. Yeah, you had ten minutes of rain in quali, and then it's not like the track stays wet. Do you know what I mean? It it, it dries yeah. up, doesn't it? Right, it yeah. sort of like re Virtually. refreshes itself, Resets. ready for the yeah. race, doesn't it? Uh, Liam, do me a favour. Just take any notes you see on stream of any incidents that you can text me across for tonight okay just anything you see that you thought was a bit dirty just uh, email me across that I can have a look mm. at them you better have okay. a big notepad because I think people are going to be everywhere well I was going to say there's obviously a bit of leeway isn't there for, for shit in the rain isn't there? there's that bit of oh well he has it a puddle and then not meant to go into side of you but that's the way it's happened yeah no but that's just something you think of when you're oh, going to oh, say about I think Argent's on the pad tonight as well. Yeah. Fucking hell, he's already yeah, gone. he's went into yours, Matt. No, he never texts me asking if he could come mine. <laughs> nah, That's because you said he ain't got any good. friends. Well, I don't think he fucking heard me. I hope not. <laughs> right, two sex. I believe you, Matt. You've got... Okay, can you hear me? Maybe. Yeah. I'm not even sad. I don't even know what's going on with my own mouth. Fuck! Fucked it all off. Oh, I see. Fuck's sake, Beth. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? I hate this. Oh, yeah. Really shit. Okay, so just share the stream round. <clears throat> Can I just have my phone charger? Just um, the plug, I don't know where the plug is. Great, yeah. But just plug me this in. You can unplug the switch now. I'm gonna be so shit tonight. I've not done commentary since last season. Hey, right, last warning. Are you sure you want to do it? Yeah. Right. It's super good my talking in the corner. You're moaning then. I'm not moaning, I'm just saying. If I was moaning, I'd have just said straight up, I don't want to do it. Yeah, I'd have probably left the party up, because I wouldn't have even turned PlayStation on. I've got other priorities. Key, because he loves his mummy milkers, leave him alone. You love your mommy milkers. You don't even care about my bikes. Your mommy milkers. Oh, boo. Your partner's your breasts. Yeah, you've got your mommy milkers. You've got a supply of milk for four fucking years. A fucking lifetime, you wanna say? I got no fucking teammate on in the party then. No. God, I'm going to have to go into game chat. <laughs> Not work either. I don't know there'll be anybody in there either. It might, no, well, it mutes your mic when you go in there. As soon as race and stuff starts. Um, we'll go in game chat with all the normos. What we doing? Oh, oh yeah, do you want to see Bertine not yeah, talking Kelly, there? Kelly and Dean oh. have like, the best fucking conversation ever. Yeah. 
Don't yeah. Worry, you oh, you've spun. Oh, you've spun. Oh, yes, I have. Oh, you've spun. Yeah, yeah, I have. Oh, you've spun. Yeah, I have. Oh, whoa. Well. It's wet, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Uh, da, da, da. Da, 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 da. I think my fucking phone is broken. So it's all I. Oh yeah, shit! I need to join. Because my phone's not seeming to be working that minute. I blame the college in fact. Hey, bro. Fucking rubber in rapids. How many we got in at a minute? Seven drivers. Fucking yes, bro. Ooh, yeah. That's a brilliant start until it goes down now. Yay. Still slot for join late. Fucking Bryn and Phil could get a podium here. Where is everyone? Only had one in here, yeah. Dean running late. Yeah. Dean's probably plowing one into fuck it. Your do. missus. Um not my missus, my missus, I want Dean's running late. Going. Obviously Nicky's not coming. Maze has just turned up. Yeah. No no up bar yet. Um Stokesloth normally comes in like right on the edge. Arjun unsure if he's racing he'll be on pad. Because he's away, isn't he? Yeah, he's up my, up my yeah. end. <clears throat> wow. Tell you what, he's got a lovely hotel room. Yeah, lovely. Is not on the one there, or? He sent me a picture. He says, it's a shame it's not middle of summer and there's no cricket on. I says, why? He sent me a picture. His hotel's what overlooking... He he's somewhere in Derby. His hotel's looking, uh, overlooking Derbyshire County Cricket Club. Oh, there you go. So, you know, right now, if the cricket was on, it'd be a right nice view to sit out, sit with doors open and watch the cricket. I'd, yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd love that, but... Yeah, I bet I you would, yeah, yeah, being a bit of a cricket boring. man. Boring. Cricket is boring. No one asked for your opinion? No, no one asked for yours, but Shake. still I'm it. sorry, but this time I will have to agree with, with um, Liam, to a point. Cricket is boring to watch, well. it's great to play. <laughs> Why is no one getting behind England in the World Cup? They're actually winning in this World Cup at the minute, not like the football. Uh, first, I've even heard there was not, a World they're Cup. They're not far enough into it, yeah. <laughs> it's really not far enough into it, they're nearly it's not cards. No, they didn't. Fuck it, what you on about? England won one game. Final. England won one game at football, and everybody were jumping out bang like bandwagon of it's coming fucking home. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah football, you know, we'll start singing the cricket's coming home. No one will start singing. <laughs> no one will give two fucks that England will win cricket World Cup. Because no one gives two fucks about cricket. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, they're, fo they're, following for, for the wrong, they're following the wrong sport, though, aren't they? Because England never went out in football. At least they're successful in cricket. Oh, exactly. It was the same as Formula One. Board. Just the same as Formula One. They don't talk about fucking Formula One. Yeah. You know? Uh, love him or hate him, there's a Brit who's fucking winning all the time. Yeah. You know? Uh, you I don't, don't see them at the side lanes showing Lewis Hamilton's coming home. No, because so every, no, everybody in this country seems to hate Lewis Hamilton. Yeah, I, 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 doubt, I don't bump into too many people who like him, to be honest. But no, my point I. being, from an English point of view, you know? Neither do I, but he's British nah, and I want him to win the title. Russell. George Russell. That's what you need. George Russell. Will well, yeah, for, for the first two seasons, we'll all be George Russell fans, then he'll turn into a deck and we'll all hate him. George Russell won't win a title. <laughs> Why? Every major rule change brings different dominance, doesn't it? Is this the end of the Mercedes era with the big rule change coming <clears> next year? Does, Liam's created our own party, by the way. Uh, does this mean that yeah. someone like Lando Norris may be the dominant British driver being at McLaren and McLaren may get it right for next season? Good luck, well, Kelly. Thank you, mate. Um, yeah, I get your point, um, but also, yes, rule changes um, uh, bring up different things or whatever, but usually the high-end teams work it out quite quickly. Yeah. And I don't think, I don't think Mercedes, if Mercedes go into next season with a poor car, I don't think it'll be for long. No, I think he'll win races. Being a champion, I think uh, something's uh, something's gonna. Uh, we'll see. What? I'm here. He he comes from England. He's super fast. Dean Wysocki gets pole again. Nah, 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 nah. Right. Best of luck, boys. Catch you later. Speech on the podium, Kelly. Well, 
Where the f what time is it? Uh, six minutes. Give me a lap for the pit window, Liam. He's not even there. Okay. Liam. Liam. Hello. Is he is he just ignoring me? Hey. Liam! Joe? What the fuck? Liam. Hello. All oh, right, you can hear me. Right, two sacks. <clears throat> Buzzy, pick me a lap for what well, uh, for what the pit window should be. Just give, just give me a lap. No, it's a bit too early on a 22 lap race. Seven. Make it an even number, so six or eight. Eight. Lap eight. Thank you. No, I'm on the message board. All right, sweet. Fuck. What the hell's this? That's what? Carting gold, dude. Right, I'm just going to ask Joe a second in the public chat, one second, in game chat. Joe? Is Argent racing tonight? Oh, so he's not attempting it on pad. Right, no worries, cheers. Right, no worries then. Cheers, buddy. No Argent. He messaged Joe saying that he's not racing. Oh. So no Argent. Days, so out of 14 people, there's no Argent. There's oh. no Nicky now. There's no up bar no, at the Nicky, minute. There's only eight drivers at the moment. Yeah, and we're expecting Stealth and Dean in. Alfie, I'm not too sure. An up bar. I'm going to message now. I'm going to cry. Why? What? Why? No. No, 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 no. Eight drivers. This could get boring. This will get boring. It's a problem. Well, actually, hopefully. Well, then no, again, no. I haven't watched... I haven't actually watched any Saying screen. that, we said that... Oh, cheers. Cheers for not watching. Saying that, the last time yeah. it rained, though, and it, it was a short grid, Smithy got a podium, if you remember. That was last season, then. Exactly, because it's not rained much this year. What's this cart in August thing, you know? What cart in August? We're not into like a group karting all this. Oh, that's the karting group from when we went karting. Smith has just messaged in it. Oh. It's not got no messages in it, though. Oh, you've not been added. You've been in it for ages. Smith has just put wet one tonight, boys. I think Facebook's playing up, mate. It makes about sense. I don't care. I'm using Snapchat anyway. That's the point. I need to put my phone inside because it might ping a lot. Oh, he's here. 
Güzel. Din Wai Salki. O ki cameras away for him tonight. One night, so he came on other night, mate. He sat there, he went, I'm going to get some tests on. I went, yeah, anyway. So you joining party? He went, no, no, my headset's broke. He says, yeah, no problem. And I thought, yeah, you know, headset broke. That could happen to anybody. You're on for half an hour. Yeah. Sorry, you're on for ten minutes. Text me, I've got to go. He says, well, what's up? He says, Regan's kicking off. I thought, oh, you're coming back? Never applied. I thought, yeah, he's not coming back. He appeared offline. Oh, no, sorry, he did Re appear offline. He just went Regan off. Regan always kicks off, but Rachel don't do jake shit. Yeah, Rachel, I know, I've heard. Rachel's Babe. biggest fucking problem. Babe! Come and do me a coffee and a juice and give me some paracetamol. Right, it's eight o'clock. Is it? Yeah. Oh, right, so yeah. just as a little heads up, we go live when the screen goes to the track. That's when we're basically live. So when this loading screen changes to the to the garages, off. yeah, basically quite. I've had a few this season where I've had to wait a load of time because like people are handing people just keep talking. Yeah, uh, I'll be quiet. Let's have a good one tonight, bud. Uh, best of luck with it. Let's uh, create some enthusiasm. Yes. Keegs in the chat, super team wise lucky. <laughs> We've got wise lucky, super team wise lucky. I just don't think you understand. He's better than Kelly. He's better than Arjun. We've got team wise lucky. They're also guessing he was on commentary with me tonight. Can you give me a juice and a coffee? And be quiet. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are live with the Pro-Am series here at Zolder, here at a very wet and sodden Zolder. The last time racing was at Belgium, it was the Formula One Grand Prix, and uh, that one was canceled. We, on the other hand, we continue with the race in the wet conditions. We go ahead with it. We drive here at Belgium. Zolder's the track tonight. One driver on double points was meant to be two, but one had to drop out. We'll get back to him in a moment. And we're down to ten drivers. No Argent tonight. We've not yet heard from Ukbar. There is no sign of uh, Alfie as well. I think he's still on holiday in the Caribbean. And no Nicky tonight. We wish Nicky and his family the uh, best of times at the moment. So uh, someone's not well or something. So... Hope all is well there. And we also want to give just a shout out to our regular commentator, Unorthodubs, who's in the chat, Dan Davis, uh, to have operation this morning. So uh, we hope he gets a speedy recovery and joins us uh, next week and, and he's back out there for us all to see. But we have got a special guest. He's only been with us twice this season out on track. He's not been in the comms box, box for a whole season. We've got Liam, what, we've got Liam Bostock back, that bossy boy back in the commentary box. Liam, good evening. How are you? I am good and... Oh, it feels amazing being back here again. It's been so long. Yeah, nice. It's been been a whole season there enough, buddy, since we've had you in the commentary box. It's nice to have you back. Um, Zolder, wet track, wet race, wet, wet evening. What are we going to expect tonight? Oh, hopefully some brilliant action. Um, we can't see the times yet, but hopefully it, it's going to be a very fun night. It's going to be an absolute cracker. A few things just want to mention tonight. Uh, and this technically, this run does technically carry on into next week as well. With Argent not being here, um, he is the only man to make it through to every qualifying two session. He has not had to qualify in qualifying two all season, so it's a cracking achievement for him. And also an achievement for DJ Phil, who's going to make his 98th and... Oh, sound, sound, Keeg says in the chat. I forgot to unmute it. We're back. Apologies. We are back. Um... Big shout out to Nicky and his family. Uh, hopefully, uh, 
the family can uh, make speedy recovery on, I think it was Dad's illness, so we... Uh, make a speedy recovery to them and also a speedy recovery to unorthodox Dan Davis who is not here tonight but that Bozzy boy is as I've just introduced but said it all on mute thank you Keegs in the chat um, yeah and Disco and Monkey Boy and Peaceful Stepdad uh, evening to everybody apologies I'm still not quite fully at the desk yet so I'm still kind of having to turn to see what's on the screen and whatnot. but Liam great to have you back with us oh yeah like I say it's uh it's very nice to be back here again. Um, hopefully we can have some more races like this with me commentating, but we'll have to see further down into the season. Um, nice to have you back with us again. Uh, An Orthodox, obviously, Dan Davis not here tonight. He's had surgery this morning, and uh, we hope he makes a speedy recovery and gets back to us uh, for next week or, or, or whenever he's fit to get back to us. So 10 drivers out there on the grid, not yet heard from Uckbar. No Argent, no Nicky tonight. We hope Nicky and, uh, and the family are doing well as well. Um, and um, no, Alfie, we think he's on holiday in the Caribbean at the moment. So four drivers currently missing from tonight's grid. But that leaves us, Liam, with a very, very interesting field tonight. A very different field with Maze Gamer, Rabbit Joe, Kelly, the three front runners. Does this give someone else a chance for a podium, maybe? Possibly, possibly. Like uh, you said off air to me, if I'm right, uh, the last time we had a wet race, Smithy managed to get... Mm. Yeah, so that, yeah, maybe we could see Smithy get another podium. Yes, and that was back at Zoo High last year, which me and you covered ourselves. Uh, Smithy Kelly won the race, and Smithy took a second place at Zoo High in a fully wet race. So will that be the case tonight? We'll have to wait and see. But what is the case at the moment and right now is is these boys are going to put on one hell of a show. Now, Kieran Argent, not here tonight, and this won't affect his record, as I was saying, um, muted. Uh, but he is the only driver to not qualify in the Q2 period, so he's, quali he's always finished in a good enough position to not make the Q2 qualifying, which is a good effort from him. But we're going to quickly get in to the Drivers' Championship and the Constructors' Championship right now, and it is Maze Gamer who leads the way, 29 points clear of Argent, but with Argent not here tonight, that's going to extend that gap and possibly really put a severe dent in Argent's promotion chances as well as them title chances that Argent would be looking at as well. Kelly then only nine points behind Argent in P3. He will then surely leapfrog Argent tonight. Rabbit Joe, he's some 30 points behind his teammate as we're on screen with him now. He's in P4. Nicky not here tonight. He's 84, 85 points behind. He's still got to take his double points, um, which we believe now will be next week, as majority of the drivers will. There is Nicky was meant to take them tonight, but with Nicky not being here, will not take them tonight. Um, Walsh then is P6. He's some 140 points off the title. Down the order, Smoky Devils, P7. Don't Know, mate. Cracking debut season for Don't Know, mate. In that P8 spot, a point ahead of Stealth Soft. So a lot of work to do if you're them two in a fight. DJ Phil Green as well. Only four points off the back. Sorry, uh, six points off the back. I don't know, mate. The tables haven't been posted because Facebook has been playing up all day. So the tables haven't been able to be posted there. His Don't Know, mate goes a bit quicker. And he's actually running second place at the moment. So not looking bad in the Audi. <coughs> um, Ukbar, then P11, no sign of Ukbar at the moment. He got a five-point deduction for uh, reset button in the last race, so he drops back down to 96 points. Dean Wasaki's P12. Can he climb the table? He's another man yet to use double points, and there's only one man tonight, so there's about five drivers next week who have got to take double points. It's then Alfie on 80 points and Smithy on 14 points. And Liam, Dean's nephew, I know you've been working with Dean a lot this season on a Wednesday night. You get, what's the situation there? Because he had a good Asher slob and he's not had a great season, though. Is the change to the SLS been too much for Dean? Or, or what's been the situation there? Because he's gone from pro to mid-table pro-am to now running at the back of pro-am. And that's not really where Dean should be. No, it isn't. Um, fully agree with you there. I mean, obviously, with me being there, I get to see what he's like when he drives the scenarios around him. Um, the one thing I could say is that SLS... Brilliant choice for him. Uh, I don't. I think McLaren was still also a very good choice, but the SLS was very good change for him. The only problem that I have seen, realistically speaking, is how he holds the wheel. Right. As I've, I've spoke to you about obviously before yeah, yeah. off here. Um, I think that's his major down point. But far from that, he, he, he just needs to make sure he. Does what any racer does and keep it on the track. Now he had a good Oshislav, and as we see in drivers here, struggle with these conditions somewhat. Um, he had a good Oshislav, and a very poor Algarve. Can he get back to it? Forever forward racing, then one driver short. 
But as a Team Prolapse night, they lead the Constructors title by 35 points. But let's not forget that half of Team Prolapse still have to use their double points. A lot of drivers spinning off here. Team Pro Lassie, Maze Gamer, shout out to him, all on his own, running P3 in the Constructors, but are being hunted down by DJ Motorsport, who are being caught by MC Motorsport as well. So good fight between them two for fourth and fifth at the moment, maybe even third by the end of the season. AO 3D printing a Dean with no Alfie. Dean having to fly the flag on his own and Bryn in the Iron Brew Racing. Don't know, mate, in the Iron Brew Racing team just behind them so they're trying to catch up as well the flying dutchman and team cool runnings as well uh second from bottom and last they can't win the title neither can Ironbury Racing uh, depending on tonight's situation obviously we're here in the wet and uh, anything could happen uh, but Ironbury Racing would need to outscore Forever Forward by 8 points in total tonight so that means Don't Know Mate's got to outscore Rabbit Joe by 8 points tonight to stand a chance of staying in that one Dean Alfie and Smithy are all out the chance of winning the title and Ukbar but again Dean and Ukbar can get back into that with a good result tonight here is Dean currently down in P8 and uh, it's been a talking point again this week, Liam. Obviously, me and yourself, we, we chat a lot with Dean throughout the week and, and, and not a lot of testing this week for Dean and you feel that that's going to hurt him tonight. I think for any driver, it's going to hurt you not practising, especially when you've got conditions like this. Um, it's always a priority, like I say, to get your testing in, but when these weathers come around, you need to be mm. on it all the time. Obviously... Um, some drivers can't, like myself, I, I, I can't even race at the moment, but uh, there are drivers out there that just don't have the time, but I know Dean's more than capable of having the time to sometimes yeah. decide to. Uh, we've got a fair ch amount of people in the chat, 16 people watching, evening to Disco and to JR Sim Racing, evening to Peaceful Explosion on Orthodubs is there, we hope you're getting better, Dan. Uh, Lucas Roth, aka Keegs, Monkey Boy, Peaceful Stepdad. Smithy, Dean Wasaki himself in the chat. No Fury's granddad tonight. He's at the football. And uh, KLF Rabbit Joe looking good, says Smithy. Um, reset button says Disco. Reset button's fine in practice. It's not allowed to be used as from qualifying onwards. Evening to JR as well. Taking a break. Pit manoeuvred tonight, I see. Says JR. Uh, I'll be tuning in 100% happy hunting for tomorrow, says JR. So good to see JR uh, on there tomorrow night. And uh, Liam sad that you can't be with us on a Thursday night I mean obviously work's getting in the way uh, smash the thumbs up button says JR indeed come on Dad and Smithy so come on KLF and Smithy and just looking at the times you've got Joe uh, Liam we'll get back to your uh, the conversation with you in a moment but Joe at the moment looking the strongest out there 1.2 quicker than anybody else yeah it's uh, you've got to give him it, hats off I want to say it is hats off to him he's doing quite well to say how poor the track conditions are Real, yeah. Obviously, let's just let's just go on boarding while we talk about it. See these track conditions. Let's go on the, yeah, look at this. Look how slippy this looks. You see him there under braking, Liam. You just see him that rear end just squirrelling about all over. But um, we go go back to the point uh, if you not being able to race much this year. Obviously, down to the new job and personal life comes before before the racing. Um, shame that you can't be out there this year. Are you missing it? Yeah, I'm missing it massively. I wish I could be on the track. I, I'm watching it right now thinking, oh, I could be one of these cars mm. tomorrow. Mm. Only problem is work, personal life, obviously come before anything like this. Yeah, yeah 100%. 100%. Um, you're here tonight, and it's great to have you back in the commentary box. Obviously, we, uh, we miss Dan, and we wish Dan the best of luck on his recovery but we got that bossy boy back tonight and he was a season three commentator here he knows what he's doing tonight he knows where the battles are and you're just looking at his lap of joe liam the curbs look very dangerous it looks like a lot of puddles forming on the curbs the track looks really slippery and there's a lot of puddles in in, in key places here it looks like at the moment yes it does and i feel for some of these drivers obviously a lot of these drivers just spinning off quite a lot as mm. you can see doing very slow there i mean I've not done much driving around this track, but it, it does seem like you're having to be a lot more precious, yeah. I'm going to say, on the pedal. Yeah. Patience as well is going to be a key here. Walsh and Smithy in the pit. Seven minutes remain of the practice session. 17 people watching. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you are new. And uh, getting a shout out here. One man don't know, mate, at the moment. Looking good for uh, value for money in P4 so far. I know it's only practice. Good luck tonight. Go, lads. Go on, Kelly. All the best to Nicky uh, as well. All the best to Nicky as well. But uh, don't know, mate, at the minute, Liam. Looking good value for money in P4. Yes, he is. And obviously... 
Oh, we've just lost Liam there for a second. Uh, just yeah, thinking um, of your health, miss you, Nicky. Down on the pad tomorrow, looking forward to seeing that. Uh, sorry, we've got Liam back. Go on, Liam. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, he, um, don't know, mate, being one of the drivers, which, if I'm correct, is on the pad and also he's yeah. using manual gear, so being yeah. where he is is quite phenomenal. It is. Maze Gamer really struggling tonight down in PA. Dean well off the pace, as is Stovsloff and Maze Gamer for that matter. Smithy, only a couple of tenths will put him up into P5. And like Liam said earlier on, Smithy, couple, uh, you know, the last time these conditions were this bad at Zoo High, got himself a P2. So could Smithy be looking at another podium tonight? Um, in terms of driver milestones, none this week, but tune in next week as DJ Phil will become the first driver to make 100 races or competitive races, should I say, here at Simplay uh, Motorsport. Um, 98 and 99 tonight, 100 uh, for race one next week at Fu at Sukito, Suzuka, as we know it in the F1 calendar. And uh, what an achievement, Liam, for 100 races. Yeah, it just shows you how loyal of a driver he is. Um, I, I, I mean, I think it's going to be quite a while until we see in the next one, but... If I'm right, DJ Phil hasn't actually missed the race yet. Uh, I can't remember. No, he missed one. La he missed one season two. He missed a couple of season two actually. It's, I'm just looking at the stats now. He missed three season two, um, but has been here all season this year. Been all here all season one, here all season three. Uh, Peaceful and Little Leach as well should make their hundredth this season. Um, Dan and Dean will just be shy of that mark. Uh, we're also gaining a few people. Alfie's four away from fifty, as his Mazda Emo guy Nicky tonight will be uh, on to his forty sixth appearance. So a few guys making up to their fiftieth as well. So a lot. Uh, uh, these next couple of weeks, it's time for drivers to get to these milestones as well as get to the end of season and, and prove what these guys can do uh, in terms of their championship fight as well as that end of the, the, my, the personal milestones obviously we spoke about it uh, a couple of weeks ago Liam about personal milestones like 50th and 100th appearances and, and, and do we do something special for them as a driver um, obviously you've done a lot more driving than you have commentating what does a personal milestone like 50 or 100 races mean to you as an accolade to have in, in that back pocket? Is it something you look at? It's not something you're obviously going to pay a lot of attention to. You've got the race to focus on more than, oh, it's my 50th race. But 50 races, 100 races, what does that mean as a driver? It just, as a driver, it just means really how loyal you are. I mean, I say loyal, but it really does show how loyal you are to this racing, how how concentrated, should I say, you are on trying to do well in these championships. Now, if you said something like race wins or podiums, you get to milestones, they, they just feel amazing. I've not yeah. hit any myself, but um, I can imagine that they, they're best oh. feeling it well. It's Kelly there as one of the slowest spins. And yeah, I agree with you. Uh, uh, Mace Game has gone P3, so he's found some pace from somewhere. Dean and Stelsloff still some two seconds off of the back of Welsh Hughes, some two seconds off the back of Phil and Smithy at the minute. So that's just dropped out now down to fifth and Kelly down into P4. But it's the three Mercedes AMG AMGs out front. And then it's a Renault, Audi, Mercedes Benz AMG, Porsche, Lamborghini, Lamborghini, uh, Mercedes SLS as Dean comes across the line. And uh, there's no improvement there from Dean as well. That was an outlap from him at 3 minute 15. But we're down to the final 3 minutes, 25 seconds left of practice. 19 viewers, get them thumbs ups in and, um, and subscribe if you are new. You mean committed, says Disco in the chat, Liam. And uh, yeah. yeah, that's the one. Um, but uh, at the moment, we've got all 10 drivers out there on track. What car tonight, Liam, takes your fancy? Which driver are you looking at tonight and thinking he's a guy that I'm looking at for poles and wins? I mean, it's very hard to look past the Mercedes being on that top step. Which, if, if you had to pick one, which one? The Mercedes. No, which, which yeah, but which Mercedes? I'm saying oh, the, Joe, um, Depp, Smokey, Maze. Which, which one you're looking at at the moment for pole in the qualifying? So far, it's gonna, I've got to give it to Rabbit Joe. He's nearly, a, I would say, nearly a second and a half faster, obviously. Oh, oh, two oh, oh. two sweat temps off, but. There's always time for improving. Yeah. Dean is struggling like mad out there. You've seen him have a big wiggle over the brow of the hill and then through the chicane. He's lost a lot of time as well. And Oh, he, I mean, Dean rolling it onto the track there. And Yeah, that was a little bit uh, silly there. But uh, Kelly coming around now then as uh, Stelsloff goes back into the pits then with two minutes 12 remaining. And Dean goes back as well. 
Um, but at the minute, end, Rabbit Joe looks favourite for pole, and that's who Liam's tipped for favourite. And I think it, it's hard to look away from him, like you said, Liam. 1.2 clear of Smoky Devil and Maze, one and a half clear of, of the Renault. I think Joe tonight looks like he's he looks like he's got the wet testing in, doesn't it, for sure? He's definitely got that wet testing in. The only thing is, you can always be fast over one lap. It's consistency mm. that really means anything in these conditions. Yeah, autumn conditions as well here in November now in Belgium. So you can probably run with that radiator a little bit more short, especially in the wet weather. You know, the temps will be cooling down, but... Uh, it's not about that radiator shot and getting that outright pace because look at even Joe, 1.2 quicker than anybody, the only man in the 40s. Just look at how he's struggling through these first corners. Look, he's off now, just pushing that little bit harder, just running wide. You saw him through the first couple of corners, Elliam, just very twitchy and struggling in that Mercedes Benz. This could be a real effort for Joe in that Mercedes time. The most planted car on this grid, you have to say, is the Renault. So could Kelly take uh, advantage of some mistakes from these Mercedes Benz boys tonight? We know what Kelly's like, Mr. Consistent. Can he do the job? That is our question for tonight, but we've got to wait till the race, which we're going into qualifying in the next minute yeah, anyway. Yeah, 55 so seconds left to practice. Guys on their final laps. Two drivers are coming across the line to start their final runs. A few more might get a couple in here. Smithy and Mays then will start their final run. Smithy goes back to the pit, so he's done for this session at the moment. And Mays, let's just look at Mays, championship leader, and just look at how he... He's on the pad as well as Mays Gamer, I found out the other week. So let's see how he struggles and handles it. Oh, look, very slidey in that Mercedes Benz and just cannot get that power down. Oh, Dean's chair folded up on him. <laughs> oh. I, I, I know how that one feels. Um, well, Opal's all right there, but look at Mays. Look at him just struggle as he comes through the corners. There. Oh, and there's a big slide, big slide, and he can't catch that one, so that's going to ruin his final run let's not forget the wetter it becomes in qualifying the less you're going to see improvements on time so pretty much you want to be out there for the full 10 minutes because even though your, early, your best laps will be early on the testing even though it's 10 minutes just stay out there for 10 minutes worth of qualifying fill the car up with fuel and just go that's surely better than anything because you're going to get a bit more of a feel for what you're going to expect in the race aren't you yes you are um it's always imperative, I'd say, to keep getting those laps in, either, even when it's just this little practice part, mm. doing the laps after laps after laps. Even in the in qualifying, it's the same, obviously, with you running the lower, uh, most of the time, should I say, running lower fuel, maybe different radiators. Uh, but it's always imperative to do more laps because it just means you're more warmed up for when you're actually in the car ready to race. And especially in these conditions. Yeah, especially in these conditions. We're going to get 22 laps of fantastic stuff. Evening to Rabbit Joe in the chat. And Disco saying that I sense a race of attrition. I sense the same thing, Disco. I sense a race that is going to be off the hook. And um, who can keep it on the tarmac is going to be the key. But it's Rabbit Joe in the practice session then who looks like he's got the better the measure of everybody. 1.2 quicker than Smokey and Maze. Is this going to bring him back in as um, CM... CF1 was kicked from the session there because this is an online championship session and you can't just get in like that. DJ Phil then still out there on track. Here he is coming around these final couple of corners. That might even be Smoky Devil. I'm not quite sure. Maze, not sure what's happening there. Bit of a practice start maybe, a bit of a burnout. The start is going to be Keelian because the start in the wet, we've seen it before, you know, that's going to be a tricky one. Yes, it is. Um... If I remember, it is oh, as it looks oh, like it Maze is. That's what he's doing, giving it a bit of a go. Yeah, having a bit of a practice uh, start. So we'll have to see what happens here then. But uh, Rabbit Joe. 1.2 quicker than his nearest competitor tonight. What can Kelly do? Don't know, mate. Could he be on for his first podium here at Simple Motorsport? We await somebody to press ready up because I had to. I got kicked from a session and had to come back in. So we just await somebody to ready up, and then we go. All good fun, Rabbit, for the win. KLF for a podium. Third to anyone, says Smithy, in that order. Don't know who's got to to ready up, but we uh, need them to press it. Maybe not Dean tonight, as uh, he has already folded up from what it sounds like. <laughs> and here we go then. So it should come back over to me after this session, I think, or if not, after the race session at least but then we're getting ready to go for qualifying the early people to get out there are the key pit lane entries are just an interesting one as well there's like a brick wall chicane midway in the pit entry fury hit that in gtes as uh, out the pits comes rabbit joe dean as well is coming out the pit lane and there's a car i believe in front of dean so i don't know if we could just go to dean and see who that is 
time when I find them, it looks like it might have been Kelly. It is, it's KLF. So Kelly then, the first man out on the track. Long pit exit, and this pit exit line. Going to be interesting to see if anybody cuts out. Good evening to PN Motorsport as well. This is going to get interesting, he says. Really got no idea who to call on this one, says Disco. And uh, well, me, and, me and Liam have gone with Rabbit Joe. I think Joe's pace looks the best at the moment. My, uh, May's don't know, mate, and DJ Phil still sat in the pit lane. And you really want to be getting out on track. I think May's game is coming out now. Or someone's coming out. Uh, May's game is still sat in the pits. DJ Phil sat in the pits, as is don't know, mate. So they're all in the pits. Well, she was the one who was coming out the pit lane. Sticky and thicky in the box again, you say, Liam. <laughs> Bit of a joke from what, if I remember, yeah, last season. Taylor actually did me. Yeah. Sweet and sticky in your box tomorrow night. Sticky and thicky in your box tonight. And yep. uh, ten brave, brave drivers out there on the track at the moment. Mays, don't know, mate, and Phil, all in the pits. And ten minutes is short enough as it is, Liam, in qualifying. We're already through a minute and a half of this qualifying session. Nobody's yet on a flying lap. The first man to be on it will be Kelly. And for them three sat in the pit lane, the track's just getting wetter and wetter and wetter. It just means they're not going to be able to get the faster times in there. Some of the guys, as, as we know um, from being on the track before, maybe not in a, this kind of circumstance, but we, we both know that when the track gets wet, your time is mm. going to drop. Mm. And it's virtually impossible then to get to other people's times. <clears throat> So then, uh, Q1 average, you want some stats? I'll give you some stats. Maze Gamer has the best average of P2 out there at the moment in qualifying one. The forever forward boys of Rabbit Joe and Argent, then they both average P3 with Joe having three poles to Kieran's two. That's interesting. As don't know, mate, and Maze is now out the pits. DJ Phil, then the only man in there. And he's just texted me saying he's trying to come out the pits, but he won't let him. He's now out as well. So everybody out the pits then. They come. Um, you look at people like Welsh and Stoke Soft, they average 9th and 11th. KLF and Nikki. Nikki averages P6. Kelly averages P4. Can they up that average tonight for Kelly? Maybe get that on to the front row tonight. Uh, you go down the order a little bit. DJ Philly averages P10. Dean Wusaki averages P7. Smithy averages P12. Hold, uh, don't know, mate. Averages P11. For people like Smokey Devil, he averages P6. Now Ukbar still in at the moment, which is a shame to not get him in. Rabbit Joe, though, has gone purple in sector one. So Kelly will be the first one to finish his lap, but it's Rabbit Joe who is flying through sector one at the moment. Where is Kelly? Coming up towards sector two just now. And he goes purple for a brief, brief time then, as here he is. He will be the first one to finish his lap way ahead of Dean then. So Dean giving himself a bit of a gap to Kelly to not catch Kelly or anything. Liam supporting Joe says on Orthodubs. You especially, uh, Joe says, uh, Disco with Disco face. Is it Joe that's been a repeated offender of grid pens? No, yeah, Joe got one. Kieran has had two this year for speeding in the pit lane. So Joe needs to... Uh, to make sure he doesn't speed in the pit lane there. But here comes KLF. He's going to set the first benchmark of the night. And what's his time going to be? Could be a 141.3. Not a bad benchmark for him. Nobody was in the 41s in practice. Ball. Rabbit Joe. So not a bad benchmark for him. Dean has had a terrible lap. He's dropped right down the order. Who's going to cross the line second? I'm not quite sure. But it's uh, it's Rabbit Joe who does a 40.7. So six tenths quicker than KLF. Here comes Smokey Devil. What can he do as he crosses the line? Any improvement on a 141? He's in the 141s, but a 41.4. Stuff soft on an outlap. He'll do nothing, as will Maze Gamer. He'll not get anything in. Smithy will be the next one to cross the line quicker than Stuff Sloth. It is 143.2. So good stuff from Stuff Sloth. DJ Phil and don't know mate on an outlap where is Dean Wasaki then what's behind Kelly on the outlaps he's dropped right back so he's had a terrible first flying lap and he's some 32 seconds off the pace Welshie in the background he'll cross the line to come across and go P6 ahead of Dean Wasaki but behind his teammate and the conditions just getting worse from here but there is personal best in sector 1 and sector 2 for Kelly and Rabbit Joe ignore the delta time that you see on your screen there that is a best lap delta and not a delta for overall Kelly just struggling through the second chicane smoke Devil is green in sector one. Maze Gamer green in sector one. Stuff Sloth green in sector one as well. Liam, Rabbit Joe setting the benchmark once again in the one minute forties. Yeah, it just looks so much more like he's gonna be able to take this pole position. Just like I say, he needs to do it well in the race, keep it on the track. And Kenny looks as if he is doing that so far. He does. Though, 15 qualifier. Mm, Smoky Devil has returned to the pits and Kelly purple middle sector and was uh, a lot quicker than Rabbit Joe middle sector so what can Kelly do is this going to be a personal best for KLF 900 now let's wait and see as he comes across the line now to set this lap time what is Kelly going to do from here 
He's gone six tenths quicker. He's gone pole by seven thousandths of a second. Does Rabbit Joe have anything in the locker to go quicker? No, he doesn't. No. Span at the chicane. So with the trick track, he's getting trickier. Smithy, uh, there's Mays and Holty next up. There's Rabbit Joe. Uh, Holty, uh, Mays and South Sloth next up. There's Rabbit Joe. He's going to be down on his time. What can Mays Gamer do as he's coming towards the line now? The track's getting wetter and wetter. What can Mays do? He goes pole by six tenths of a second from KLF. So good qualifying like that. South Sloth crosses the line. He improves to go P6. What about Smithy? Can he improve on his P5? No, he can't. DJ Phil crosses the line. He goes sixth. What about Don't Know Mate in the background for his first lap? What can he do? Goes and puts it P9, but there's time there for him to find. Welshie, 10 seconds off the lead at the moment. Eighth place for him so far. Can he improve on his P8? Yes, P7 he goes. Dean Wasaki improves to P9, but he's still some 10 seconds off the pace, and Dean just hasn't got the pace tonight. KLF and Smokey Devil in the pits. Oh, wow. So uh, a lot of action ha happened just right there. Um, hopefully we can see some more action for the race. There's still improvements, Liam. I'm looking at my timing screen. Kelly, Smokey Devil, Smithy, Dean in the pit. So that's crucial that them boys are in the pits. They're not really going to improve from there. But uh, improvements, no purple sectors, but green sectors all around for everybody at the moment who is out there setting a time. Maze Gamer and Joe. This could be crucial. Six tenths Joe needs to find over Maze Gamer. Seven thousandths to get ahead of KLF. He's two thousandths down on his best lap data, but that doesn't mean he's not on personal best sectors then. As Maze has gone purple sector one, and green in sector two. So Mays flying out there at the moment. It's really the top four. Then you get a massive drop off to Smithy in, in fifth. But what a shout out to Smithy in fifth place at the moment. Nobody can get near his time. 1.6 Phil needs to find then. As here comes Rabbit Joe. Will be the next man to set a lap time. What can he do? Can he improve? Can he find any time and get ahead of KLF and get on that front row of the grid? No, he cannot. What about Maze Gamer? Does he improve? He does improve yeah. and puts the gap to 1.1 between himself and Joe and one second to himself and Kelly. Kelly's had a spin out there on track. He is well. She don't know, mate. Oh, he's had an off at the chicane. Someone else just in front of don't know, mate. Crosses the line. I think that was still soft because he's gone up to sixth. Here comes don't know, mate, then. On a personal best lap. Did that moment at the chicane mess it up? No, because he's gone some eight seconds quicker and puts himself up into P8 ahead of Walshie and Dean Wasaki. Then Walshie crosses the line and it improves, but doesn't gain on... Uh, in fact, no, he goes P6, does Walshie. Dean then, oh, very twitchy over the hill there. Here's Stel Sloth on a lap himself. We'll stay with Dean a moment. In fact, Dean's on an outlap, so we won't stay with Dean because he's on an outlap. Oh, Walshie's struggling in that car, isn't he? Yes, he is, um... Those Lamborghinis don't look like they're very good in this. No. On, it's either the track or the weather. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm going to put it down to the track. Or Twen even the driver. 20 people watching, 12 likes. Guys, let's hit that thumbs up button. Guys and girls, let's hit that thumbs up button. Uh, Stuff Sloth, Stuff, Rabbit Joe and Smithy into the pits. They are not going to get another lap in, so they are done for qualifying. Rabbit Joe will start behind the Renault of Kelly and the Mercedes-Benz of Maze Gamer. That's unless Smoky Devil as well can get a, a bit more time in. We've got Maze Gamer coming to the end of his lap. Someone else is coming towards the end of a lap as well. That's Dean Wasaki, but this is an outlap for Dean, so it's not going to be an improvement at all. It, uh, yeah, so Mays, next one to start what will be his final run. So Dean's got one run left here. Who's come out of the pits? I feel someone's come out of the pits. I think Stealth Sloth's come out of the pits. Someone's came out of the pits for sure, uh, but they're not going to get time to get a lap in. Here comes Mays Gamer. No improvements. We backed out of that, and he's going to go again now. Looking at the timing screens, Welshie and DJ Phil Green are up in that middle sector. So let's just cut back to them two. Welshie, DJ Phil, they're the two that are up. Where is Welshie? He's gone back to the pit. So DJ Phil and Welshie could have improved a little bit, maybe, to catch on Smithy. DJ Phil, though, at the minute, coming round. P9 overall so far. Don't know, mate's gone into seventh, so he's improved again. Here comes Phil. No improvement. Let down in that first and final sector for Phil. But Joe, Joe's gone. Uh, Joe's made an improvement in sector one here at the moment. Dean, no improvement in sector one. Rabbit, Joe's gone back to the pits. So that's why that's staying there and there's no sector two time. Um, but Dean, oh, what can he do? Here comes Kelly. This hasn't been the best lap for Kelly. No improvements around. Not looking forward to driving the Mercedes in this tomorrow, says Monkey Boy. And... Uh, Kelly looks like he's on a final lap, but there's no improvement from him here whatsoever. Down in both sectors, and he's going to bring it into the pit lane then. Maze Gamer 
He's not improved through sector one either. Dean, no improvement in sectors one or two. DJ Phil, though, has just said done a personal best in sector one. Dean is five seconds off the nearest car. Oof. He's got his work cut out tonight, Liam. He has. Um... Ooh. It's going to be a very long one for him, I, I, I feel. I think it's going to be a long one for the majority of these drivers. Here comes Dean then, rounds the final chicane. Can he make up any time through that final part? What's he going to do then as he crosses the line? He approves, but it's still some 4.3 seconds off the back of the, his nearest rival. Welshie and, uh, sorry, Stelfsloff and Mays are out there as well at the moment. Stelfsloff goes to the pits. Mays Gamer goes to the pits, so it is just Phil on a flying lap. Here we go. <laughs> Now, what can this man do? Can he improve on his P9? Needs two tenths to get ahead of Stolf Sloth. You see, in a second, he does come around the final corner to come onto the start. Great. Yeah, a little bit wide on the exit. What's he going to do, though, as he crosses the line? He goes P8. So he takes ninth place. Uh, he demote, takes eighth place away from Stolf Sloth, but it is going to be Maze Gamer who is on pole position. It's going to be KLF in P2 alongside him. Rabbit Joe will have to settle for P3. As uh, somebody read it up there, uh, it's going to be Rabbit Joe who settles for P3. Smoky Devil will take a P4. Uh, Smithy, good qualifying for him. P5 averages 12th. Um, that is now a Q1 best of fifth place. So good stuff for him. But it's a pole position for the Mercedes-Benz. It's a pole position for Mays. Liam, just talk us through this grid. Um, <laughs> As in who's in where? Right, right, right. Yeah, I was getting on to that. I knew that. Right, so basically we have Mays Gamer from, um, from Kelly, then to Rabbit Joe, to Smoky Devil, then down to Smithy. Then next we've got Walshy, then we've got Don't Know Mate, DJ Phil, Stealth Sloth, and ending the pack with Dean Wasaki. Um, it's going to be hopefully a very fun night tonight, Matt, as qualifying and practice, to be fair, looks very slippy for uh, quite a lot of our drivers. Mm. Um, obviously, with them having to warm the tyres up, to be fair, from the get-go of coming out of the pits, whereas here, they're just going to start with warm tyres. So that's going to be a bit of a, a good start for them. Hopefully not too many incidents happen either tonight, but we'll find out in the coming seconds as soon as everyone has readied up. Yeah, so the drivers are getting ready to ready up now. Um, ten drivers out there on the grid. Let's see what people can do. Like you say, the tyres are going to be warm here. Um, four and five corners will be hell. So I don't know if Dan's on about turn four and five. Mays Gamer for the win says peaceful stepdad. Kelly for the win says unorthodox. Disco almost can't watch. And uh, Smithy for a podium. Sending you my vibes, buddy, says uh, Dan in the chat. Liam, who's your money on for the win? Um, It's very hard to say. As I was going to say Rabbit Joe, then it's very hard to say. Two red lights, so I'm going to go for Kelly. We're green here at Zolder, and it's go. Maze Gamer gets a brilliant start. Not the best getaway from KLF, and I think Rabbit Joe's already jumped him. Welsh is already coming to a problem in the background. That is Welshie round, and Smithy up into fourth place already. Good start from him as he attacks Kelly. Kelly forcing Joe a bit wide there. Smokey Devil got bogged down, and that's put Smithy up into second place. And Smithy has got a flyer from the start from P5. But Welshie stealths off. DJ Phil don't know, mate. Dean's gone from 10th to 6th in a couple of corners. Welshie is so far back at the moment it's unbelievable but Mays got the start Joe oh, he's, he's lost the rear Joe. and he's gone around he's managed to keep it out the wall but Rabbit Joe has lost the rear of that car and that's going to put him down a few places Kelly's got past Smithy cameraman cannot pick them up there he goes he's got them now Kelly Smithy who's just lost out to Smokey Devil so did Smithy have a moment somewhere but into the first chicane they go Dean from 10th to 5th as Rabbit Joe drops all the way down to P9 and Dean being hunted down by his old rival don't know mate Smithy though now looking on the back of Smokey Devil for this podium spot the last time it rained this hard Smithy got a podium oh, and Maze Game has dropped it Kelly across the chicane Maze Game has dropped it he's managed to hold on to that race lead and Smithy now are trying to attack Smokey Devil as well don't know mate and there's Maze again oh, loses again. the rear he's lost the rear he's hit the wall Kelly leads the race from Smokey from Smithy where's Dean he's fourth don't know mate he's in fifth place don't know mate's going to look to attack Dean into the hairpin corner and up the inside he goes Dean gives him plenty of 
the room. And great move from Don't Know, mate. P4 for him. And Dean's good start's just gone back one. But it's not too bad. But Liam, Joe and Mays, the two favourites, both spinning on an opening lap. Yeah, um, it's a good thing. I also very obscurely said Kelly as well, so always Smokey Devil's yeah. now taking Smoky the Smokey Devil's lead. taking the race lead there from Kelly. So did Kelly make a mistake, but Smokey Devil leads. That one has had so many different leaders at the moment, but it's uh, Smokey from Kelly who looks up the inside. Smithy is P3. You'll see him in the background in just a moment. There's Dean behind Don't Know Mate, and could we get Don't Know Mate on the podium for the first time? Could we get Dean on the podium for the first time this season as well? There's uh, so many things that could happen here. Could Smithy be on the podium as well? What a night for Smithy this would be. He he he'll be doing a rain dance more often to make it wet weather, especially but then the two big talkers, Maze and Rabbit Joe, spun at the st uh, spun at the start. What happened to? Uh, in fact, I think Joe and Maze. Yeah, they have. Liam, they've both made another mistake. Also, oh, not the race he wanted to have so far. But there is still another 20 laps left. But these two pretty much racing each other at this point, which is kind of where they need to be because Joe needs to get as many points on top of Maze Gamer as mm. possible. Pit window opens at lap eight, so they've got a long way to go for the pit window. Smithy, though, is in third place as Mays goes up the inside of Rabbit Joe, and Joe needs to get back in front. That Stealth Soft just in front, who's made a mistake, coming through the first chicane, and that'll give these two another place. He's P8, these two. Oh, no, they're Stealth oh, over, the, over the hill. He's round again over the hill, and I think that's put Joe off a little bit because Mays has now gapped Joe, lovely. But don't know, mate, really now needs to catch onto the back of Smithy. There he is. What has happened to Dean? Because he's dropped behind DJ Phil as well, and he's some margin behind Phil, so I reckon Dean had a problem. Phil now up into P5. The two Lamborghinis really struggling here tonight. And at the moment, you have to say, Smokey Devil looking on course for this race win. Yeah, he is. But it, it looks like Kelly is keeping within distance of Smokey. He's just waiting for either a mistake to happen or from to pit. Yeah, lap eight, the pit window opens. What will Smokey Devil do? What's the strategy in this race? tonight what's the strategy for all these guys to be fair because this is going to be a fantastic evening of racing smoky devil though he's made a mistake oh. through turn one and kelly's going to get the run on him and kelly leads once again in the reno kelly takes the race lead here at zolda and that's going to put smithy on the back of them and don't know mate as well we'll be looking at a podium he's just got to go nice and easy they all have here but these conditions liam are really catching drivers out dean's had another moment he's dropped to ninth Oh, no, Dean, why? But the, the rest of the drivers here, these two going at it, I mean... I think... Devil looking... Sorry, Liam, I think Maze Gamer's had another mistake. He's dropped some two seconds behind Rabbit Joe as well, so I think Maze Gamer has made another mistake somewhere. Maybe damage to Maze and Joe's car, not quite sure. But we've got a battle for the lead, and it is Smoky Devil against KLF here. Smithy running P3, we don't know, mate, fourth. Two drivers you wouldn't have expected up this high, but when you've got drivers missing in the, in the wet weather, this can provide anything! Oh, and Smokey's round, he's hit a puddle, and that's put Smithy into second, and oh! Did Smokey tap the rear of don't know, mate? No. Oh, got no. away with that one. He spun the car around and I saw Don't Know Mate coming in front of him. So I'm, I'm glad they've not made contact. But Smithy here is lapping quicker than KLF. And Don't Know Mate's not far off the back of these two either. So it's Kelly from Smithy from Don't Know Mate. That is your top three. You couldn't have written this top three at the moment. Phil now up into fourth. Smokey's dropped all the way from first to fifth in the space of a lap and a half. But their team is gaining points over Mays. It's gaining over MC Motorsport. And for DJ Motorsport tonight, what a, what a drive this could be for these guys then. As here goes Kelly from Smithy, from Don't Know Mate then. And so far, Liam, you've got to say that that Porsche, Renault and Audi look the best three cars out there. Yeah, there's... As we know, the Porsche is quite a, a, a it's a very all-weather car, the Porsche is, um, Audi, I, I can't even remember, <laughs> but the, the Renault also quite a stable, balanced car, that's what's keeping that where it is on track at the moment. Like I say, the Porsche being quite an all weather around car and, and Dean the must Audi. have sorry Liam, Dean must have had another moment because while she was so far back, is now some six, seven seconds in front of Dean. And Dean oh he's off again. As wow. Yeah. Dean not having a night he wants at the moment, but No. Oh. 
A bit too much chicane there for Don't Know, mate. Couldn't tech it as well as the Porsche did in front. Mid and rear engines are rising, says Pierre Motorsport. Indeed, they are. Kelly now can just stretch his legs a little bit. And as Don't Know, mate, just started to close the gap on Smithy. He, Smithy's been led off the hook. There's a second and a half between Smithy to Kelly. There's a second between Smithy to Don't Know, mate. There's three seconds. Back to Smokey Devil, who's got ahead of DJ Phil in P3. And you imagine that Smokey Devil will be coming here as Joe looks to gain on DJ Phil. Rabbit Joe's from 11 seconds, 10 seconds off the race lead here. And 10 seconds in these conditions is hard to gain, Liam, unless the leader has a mistake. As DJ Phil ran a little wide, and Joe's going to have a look. Is he going to tempt the fate around the outside of the little bend up the inside at the hairpin corner? He is, you know. He's going to be a lot later on the brakes and gets it stopped. And uh, DJ Phil has to concede that place. But I don't think Joe got a great run out the corner. No, job done. Well, well done, Rabbit Joe. Good move. Yeah, well, I mean... Uh, um, there is Maze Gamer just in the background, but there you see, don't know, mate, just getting that gap back down to a second to the race leaders, and uh, don't know, mate, it was actually quicker than Smithy and Kelly in front last time around, so Smithy quicker than Kelly as well. Kelly not having the best of last, well, I say not having the best last laps, everybody's lapping in the 46s, boss Smokey Devil, who was in the 44, so Smokey having a cracking lap, but he's still some five seconds behind. DJ Phil has got back ahead of Rabbit Joe, who's now got Maze Gamer on the back of him, so there's a three-way battle a bit further back for fifth, sixth, and seventh. I don't know if we can get a, a quick glimpse of this. I think Maze Gamer has made a mistake somewhere because Maze Gamer's dropped it. He was on the back of Phil and Rabbit Joe, but Rabbit Joe's now got ahead of Phil and Maze Gamer's dropped it on his own. And, um, wow, well then, Maze not having a good night here and don't know, Maze looking to challenge Smithy, Liam. You've drove the Audi and the Porsche and uh, they're both running on the podium at the minute. Yeah, um, both fairly moderate cars, um, in my opinion, uh, Obviously, the Porsche being a car that me and Joe actually did drive for two seasons, yep. like, but if, if I remember correctly, and me and Jamie actually in the Audi, but um, both fairly decent cars in the right hand. They've gained on Kelly as well, because Smithy's got the gap from a second and a half down to eight tenths to Kelly, so... Smithy doing bits here and don't know mate in the Audi is he going to look to send one up the inside of Smithy he has you know and he's got it stopped and what a move from don't know mate who's just put it into second place and he's now going to hunt down the Renault what a lunge in the wet that was a bold and risky move but he's pulled it off Liam yeah he did hats off to him for that one as well um, maybe you could see move by don't know mate and he could potentially Take his first win. Could take his first win. He's got a pole position in the Audi. Could he take his first win in the 45s last lap? The only person quicker than him, Smokey Devil, lapping in the 42s, and he's getting right on the back of this pack. Keep on, Kelly. Just keep it going. But he says, Disco and Smithy! Oh, and Smithy no! Well. Smithy's lost the rear! And he's got plenty of time to get it pointed in the right way, but that breaks your heart to see Smithy go around. But look at the Renault. Is it starting to struggle? Because Don't Know Mate is really gaining on the back of Kelly now. And Don't Know Mate's coming for the race lead. And is he going to have a look at this into turn three? Not there, he doesn't. But he's got a good chance at the chicane. The Ooh. Audi has a bit of a wiggle. So does the Renault, but well old from both. Smokey Devil two seconds back, or just under two seconds back. Where does Don't Know Mate look to do it? Does he wait for the hairpin again, Liam? It is a possibility. It's, um, yeah, it's a possibility. It looks like it is to, uh, a lot of people's favourite place to go for a move. It does at the moment tonight as Don't Know Mate sitting patiently behind KLF and I tell you what, his first win in his first season what a job, that could be, Kelly's made a mistake in the chicane, Don't Know Mate had to get on the brakes as Kelly was slow but he had to stop and Smokey Devil is now right on the back and this is three for the lead and I tell you what Dan, what a week to be in hospital but here goes Don't Know Mate, looking around the outside and he's going to be on the inside in his favourite corner and that's where he got Dean, that's where he got Smithy, that's where he's oh, not got Kelly just yet. Oh. Kelly just squeezes him to the grass. I don't know, mate, manages to somehow keep that point in the right direction, but has lost out to Smokey Devil. And what a shame there for Bryn. I just think these wet conditions are just too tricky. He went for it, didn't make it stick this time around, but he's still P3. Leo, what a drive he's having. Wow. Brilliant drive. Some brilliant moves as well so far tonight. It's Brilliant for me to be back on the, in, just straight in the middle of the action. There may be 10 drivers out there, but we are getting some great, great battles here. DJ Phil has lost out to Maze Game. And now what's happened to Joe as well? Because Maze Game is all of a sudden fifth. And here goes Smokey for the race lead once again. 
And Kelly just defending his line. Gets a twitch here. I think he called a puddle. And Smokey looking around the outside. A bit of a tap there with KLF. And Kelly manages to just hold on for the race lead here. But Smokey cuts underneath and says, Thank you, Mama, for the carriage job done. May it Mercedes Benz lead again. And it's in the hands of Smokey Devil, the flying Scotsman. Here comes the Audi, the German Audi of Don't Know Mate. The Brit, the Englishman. What can he do from P3? Can he get up the order? He was telling me the other day that he's got a few friends watching the stream, so if they're watching evening to you, I hope you're cheering him on. Smokey oh, Devil's made a mistake! Whoa. He's dropped it somewhere, and he's dropped it big as Kelly now leads again. And here comes Don't Know Mate! He's having another look at Kelly into the chicane. Can he make a move? Doesn't get it done this time. Kelly, Kelly, Jason Plato-esque on the brakes, stopping oh. him. Runs out of track again. Don't Know Mate looking to cut underneath and can't get it done. Oh, I think he's just no. hit a puddle. He's just clipped a puddle there. And Kelly, once again, he might get Kelly get it on the lottery because he has bought he needs to buy a lottery ticket Dean in the pits let's just cut to him because he's in a lap early uh, doesn't look to be too much damage on that car so he may have to provide evidence of, of oh, is he, oh, yeah I mean they, they might be now he may need to provide evidence but Smokey Devil and Bryn let's cut back to this and for the lead there's Kelly Smokey don't know mate Smithy Maze in the background five seconds off this race lead what a drive we're having the pit window opens at the end of the next lap, here comes Smokey Devil. Can he get a run? Don't know, mate, as well as looking at it. Keep the head, Kelly. The Merc looks nervous, he says. The Merc's not the one I think Kelly's got to worry about. I think it's that black and uh, blue and orange Audi in the background, Liam. Yeah, um, just a different shade of blue. Uh, blue oh, Kelly! Kelly! Kelly's round! Don't know, mate's oh, on the grass! Way. Oh, and oh. Kelly spins it round and gets clipped by Smithy. And Don't Know Mate's still on the grass. Smithy's back on the podium, but Mays Gamer leads it to second place. What is going on here? Dean said wow. he had 22 damage on the car. Well, I'm sure the stewards will want to look at that because that doesn't seem sufficient. No, that don't sound sufficient, but the, the question is, with 20... My, my question is, with 22 damage to make the car undrivable with these mm. conditions. Well, that'll be something for the stewards to look at, won't it? Don't know, mate. It's finally got ahead of Kelly, but it's through them both spinning. And what a shame. Kelly now wow. having to defend from DJ Phil for P5. And, uh, well, you have to say that these two battling for the lead. Smoky Devil now leads a maze gamer. Could he be gifted a race winner? He made mistakes early on. He's been brilliant after. Send your recording to me later, please. Dean says the steward in the chat. That steward being peaceful explosion. So Dean's going to need to record his, uh, his footage of the damage. And, and send it to the stewards. Kelly struggling through the chicane once again. Smokey lead, second and a half to Maze Gamer. Smithy's back in third. Don't know, mate, is in fourth now. After that spin on his own, you have to say as well. But, Liam, it, don't know, mate's look quick tonight. The podium's not off the table for him yet. No, it's not. There's still a full race. This is only lap eight, um, which is actually the pit window. If I'm right. Yeah, pit window has so, now opened, so drivers can pit this lap. Um, it shows how early we are still in the racing stages. We are coming up to obviously the mid-race stages, but it's still quite early on in the race for me. It is still early on, and Smithy then has decided to bring him into the pits at the end of lap eight. Then now the only, as I don't know, mate, and KLF, so they're all in to the pits then at the end of lap eight. So what can they do from here? DJ Phil now released into P3. You imagine Joe will catch up as well. Now then, question is Liam. Dean can negate the penalty by pitting again, but that's going to cost him the race pretty much. Any chance of gaining on Welshie, but can re pit again. Um, oh, but what a start to this race, Liam. What a start to the night. Wow. I'm, 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 I'm almost happy that I actually. It, it, that I can be on commentary tonight oh, to now, watch this and witness it. Kelly's jumped both Smithy and Don't Know Mate in the pits. He's in and out. Smithy and Don't Know Mate have come out just behind him. Gary, quality racing yet again, proving that Simplay is the best in the business. Such kind words from Gary131. And we can keep that up because I gave him enough dishwasher tablets to last him a lifetime. <laughs> As it, Stokes Lost brought himself morning. into the pits. But, Liam, question who's going to win this race because we have had different oh. leaders all already what a night this is turning out to be don't know mate Smithy Kelly the early pitters uh, from Rabbit Joe Phil Maze Gamer and Smoky Devil 
I need to look back now, says on Orthodox, but he's got chocolate from the nurses, so all good. Well, she gets ahead of his teammate, and Dean will be looking to gain over Stealth Sloth, but uh, it, it is a bit of a way behind. And uh, yeah, this is looking interesting. Maze Gamer here already. Now on the back of Smoky Devil, it's took him nine laps after a few spins to get right onto the back of the leaders. And here he comes. Come on, Maze Gamer, you can do this, mate, says Peaceful Stepdad. And he's going to look up the inside of Smoky Devil. And they just Ooh. tap a little bit there. And that's unsettled both Mercedes. They both have a slide, but both are able to catch it and hold it. We go on to lap 10 of 22. And Maze Gamer at the moment just starting to get that time back on Smoky. And the track, Liam, is getting worse and worse and worse. Yeah, and uh, I mean, I do want to say it just shows how much rain can play a part in just the race. Mm. It, it Indeed. Just really, yeah, it just shows how much a race has changed. Here goes Mason up the inside into the first of the three chicanes. Ooh. Here's the curbs. He went straight on there. Is he in the curb? He was not getting it stopped. And Smoky Devil just taps him round. And what a shame that for Maze Gamer. Yeah, it is. But um, he should be able to catch up quite quickly. As yeah. Well. Oh, he's off again. He's off again at the he's second chicane. Up. So he's right off again. And Maze Gamer now has lost out a lot of time. And that's going to hurt him when it comes to his pit stop. Because we think he may have damage from hitting the wall, wall earlier. So we think Maze Gamer is going to have to repair his damage. And this is going to be crucial in terms of Smithy. Kelly. Don't know, mate. Gaining on them. And when he, make, when he does decide to make his pit stop, Smoky Devil there having a big twitch. There's Dean Wasaki, who is a lap down uh, there. And Silly Silly Overtake says, uh, Disco Silly. Uh, sliding too much. Uh, whoops. Mm -hmm. Says... Um, yeah says uh, on Orthodox in the chat Jesus I thought I liked uh, an assy car then Mercs look horrendous says Gary Dean in the pits and he's got a 10 second penalty but what that has done for him is it has now negated any penalty he would have got for pitting at the end of lap 10 so that basically throws that one out the window and Dean's Dean, Dean's early pit stop basically goes out oh, the window Smoky Devil very wide at the exit of turn 1 Dean's now goes from bad to worse and with a 10 second penalty and Mays now right on the back of, of, of Smoky Devil and Liam this is ebbing and flowing and Kelly will love the fact that I've said that because this is what it, it, at one stage one driver looks confident and starts to get to grips the next minute another driver does and, 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 and they're all making mistakes Liam it is such a good night to watch and Mays slipping yeah. and sliding he thinks it's a slip and slide in a water park he's got the lead but has Smokey Devil got it back the cameraman's not picked them up Smokey Devil will have that inside line down towards the first chicane Maze Gamer slipping and sliding all around going to look the long way can't get it he's got it stopped and it. job oh. done Joe in the pits oh so if I'm right after all of that that's all driving. Oh. Now. That Smokey Devil's in the wall yeah Smokey pit. Devil's in the wall we're just waiting for well she uh, Maze and Smoky Devil and DJ Phil to pit. Dean doesn't just have a 10 second penalty, he's put in the chat a 50 second penalty. Oh. Oh dear. Wow. Um, that is very unfortunate. <laughs> that, is, uh, that is race one pretty much over for Dean because um, if he goes in the pits again and gets disqualified that'll be uh, uh, gets another 10 second penalty that'll be disqualification you only get up to 60 seconds Smoky Devil has dropped back two and a half second don't know mate then has got Rabbit Joe just in front of him who's just come out of the pits that was Dean who stays well off the track to let the guys come through to lap him and don't know mate then P7 but cars in front have got a pit. The three leaders have got a pit and Joe has jumped don't know mate in that pits himself as Mayzent comes in at the end of lap 11 Wow, so there we go, another pit, uh, driver in the pit. Smoky Devil in as well. Oh, as so three drivers should have oh. saying as is. Don't know, mate. mate. Wow, as he's going to need Joe to make a bit of a mistake to be able to... Yeah, Rabbit Joe just had a wiggle over the hill as well. She comes in as well. Rabbit Joe made a wiggle over the hill, but don't know, mate, had a mistake as well. Now, where is Kelly and Smithy? Fourth and third at the moment. Don't know, mate. Uh, with Smoky Devil in the pits, DJ Phil takes the lead of this race. But I think the two leaders are coming out the pit lane already. And Fine Kelly's that. not even at the final chicane. Yeah, Maze Game is already out the pits. Oh, okay. He's coming round the pit exit line now. Here he comes. Oh, no, we've lost oh, Smoky. Smoky. Oh. So now we're down to that nine drivers and if Dean picks up another penalty obviously down to eight but 
I don't see why Dean should be in the pits again this race, but we'll find out. We'll find out. And I reckon that was a disconnection for Smokey because he was coming out. He was on his way out the pit lane. His car was moving down the pits. He's joined back, but obviously cannot race. What a shame. Come on, Smithy. Head down. Keep it going and keep it straight, says Gary in the chat. Smithy then up to fourth with that disconnection to Smokey Devil. He'd have jumped Kelly and Smithy, but Smithy's now been promoted to fourth which has promoted everybody up a place behind him as well. Phil leads this race, eight seconds from Maze Game, and Maze Game has got 13 seconds back to KLF. DJ Phil, the only man left to pit then now, lap 12 of 22. As, uh, there is uh, uh, Saltire Tires, which is Smokey Devil in the chat, got disconnected. What a shame for Smokey Devil then. But uh, it was looking good. He can qualify for race two. I suppose that's a bonus for him in the wet weather here it's order but Phil leads this race six seconds to Maze Gamer and who was that in the background I think that's Dean again having another moment in the back oh no Dean's having a moment at turn one in fact Dean go on board Dean no he's not in the pits go on board where is Dean he's parked up on the track he's parked up pit exit right okay so, uh, well, well maybe let's not. Else to be. DJ Phil into the pit, so everybody's pitted. Now, don't forget, you've got to get to three quarter distance to score points. Dean's disconnected. Oh, so. Um, Dean, for me, I think that's a retirement from Dean. For me, that is a retirement as he was already parked up. It wasn't like it was spontaneously in the middle of, a re of him driving. He just stopped. Now, the worst thing is, Liam. That's his second retirement of the season. Drivers only get five retirements. So that's his second retirement of the season. So Dean has decided to call it a night. Smokey Devil is uh, called, uh, well, his wheel cut out on him, apparently. Well, I mean, that's no reason to disconnect. You can get your wheel back on and keep going. But, OK, DJ Phil then in the pits. So there's only eight drivers left. So Dean and Smokey Devil have to be back for race two. Maze has another mistake in him. Keep pushing, boys, says Danny in the chat. Bad luck, Smokey, says Disco. In the places, uh, in the places, almost looks like snow, says PN Motors. But it does a little bit as Maze gets very twitchy there. Kelly, 14 seconds behind. Smithy is on the podium once again and is well ahead of Rabbit Joe. Some 50, some 11 seconds ahead of Joe. Lap 13 of 22, Smithy could be on the podium. And what a shout out that would be. Yeah, and hopefully, for my first time back in the commentary box, we can scream for Smithy again. Like, you know, just back when yeah. he was... Uh, yeah, Zuhai. Zuhai just sat there screaming, come on, Smithy! What a night that was as well. As, uh, yes. DJ Phil's pit stop here, Liam, is taking quite a while. Yes, so maybe a bit of damage for himself. But, mm. oh no, so it looks like he's coming... Out he's coming now. out, yeah, he's coming out now, but he has lost a lot of time because he was not far off the back of the Don't Know Mate pack earlier on. He's nearly lost a lap, look. DJ Phil led this race when he pitted, let's not forget, and has nearly lost a lap to Maze Gamer. So his pit stop has took him some time here. Kelly, 15 seconds behind. Smithy, 20 seconds off the lead, who is 13 seconds ahead of Rabbit Joe. Now, Don't Know Mate's down in fifth, so we may not get to beat him. Ten people started this race. The top six cannot qualify. So Stealth Soft, Welshy, Dean... And uh, Smoky Devil will all get to qualify for the second race. You got this, Smithy says. Dan, bad luck says. Uh, Pe uh, bad luck, Dean says. Peaceful step, Dad. Smithy has been super consistent tonight. Come on, Dad, get Maze says. Dan, and there he can oh, get Maze. Maze has had a huge slide. He touched the grass under braking. He's gone well off into the gravel, and all this plays into this man's hand. But not just this man plays into Smithy's, who's not far behind Kelly as well. Where is Maze? Has Maze got going? Just. Please. Just, going. just, but he's got another mistake in him. You'd imagine the gap has gone from 18 seconds down to four, and all of a sudden, can Kelly smell another win in that Renault? It is a possibility, but the only other question is. Can Smithy get a second? Oh, well, she's made another mistake then coming through the chicane. These Lamborghinis, if the Lamborghinis haven't been the worst car, the SLS has. And uh, Mays at the minute is now looking to keep get back on track. He is struggling out there, is Mays Gamer. He is struggling. Yes, he is from what it looks like and maybe a bit more for, uh, a bit more struggling and it will go in Kelly and Smith's way. Oh, Mays on the grass off. again and he just had a wiggle as you say that, Liam. And he's just pushing the limits a little bit. I think Kelly's made a mistake. Kelly has made a mistake because Smithy's into oh. second place. Kelly's in the wall and Smithy is in second. Here he goes. He's never going to get a race win, is he? 
Surely oh, not! Let's let's hope so. Let's By the way, we need so. to have a massive shout out. He's just had another baby boy called Mason. So massive congratulations to Smithy and his partner in the family on their on their ba on the birth of their baby boy. A beautiful little baby boy as well. So congratulations to him. Welcome to the world, Mason. And I tell you what, Mason. You could be sharing a you could be sharing a bottle with your dad, all right? Not be, not a beer bottle, but your dad could be having a beer bottle. You could be on the milk because he could be getting a race win here. Because Mays looks like he's struggling. Smithy currently runs second. I think you'll get the beer out for P two. Oh, I mean, I don't know about. I you. think Mays has made another mistake because the gap oh. went from eleven seconds to five point seven. I think Mays has made another mistake. And if you ask me, Smithy is on the right car. Well, Mays, look at him struggling. He's sliding so far wide. I think Smithy could be on for another result oh. here. No. He's on the grass. It may, I tell you what, Liam, Liam, oh. Smithy could be on for a win. Yes. Come on, Smithy. I tell you what, Dan, trust my body to have problems on a week like this. Hey, you couldn't script it, Dan. Not only is it raining and you love racing in the wet, but it's, it's great action here in the commentary box. And Mace has a bit of a wiggle through the second Ooh. chicane. He's gapped Smithy a little bit. But this is all playing into Smithy's hands. Another big off. And that'll put doubts in May's gamer's mind. Oh, you couldn't script oh, this kind no. of stuff tonight. I want to say this is the Wisoski power. This is... <laughs> power. <laughs> what a shame that the guy can't do it on the track but Maze Gamer here flirting with every <laughs> part of the track uh, at the moment Smithy currently driving a fantastic stellar race he knows the conditions are getting worse he's being respectful to the conditions I think Maze here looked like he had a bit of another moment go on Smithy says Monkey Boy in the chat well then lap 15 of 22 what can these boys do here what a, what a start to the night what a start mm. to the night yeah. Oh wow. Oh, I, 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 words can't explain this moment right now. Seven laps left. Yeah. I tell and you what, Liam. Smithy on I'm, the podium. I'm going to be honest with you. Rabbit Joe is only 15 seconds behind Kelly. I, you, I may not. You can't discount this guy of a podium at the moment because the way people are making mistakes, this guy could be on for a podium. Don't know, mate. Is only another two, a couple of seconds behind Joe. He could even get a podium with people making as many mistakes as they are. This is an all-round race. Oh, I hope this goes in to race two because this is... Oh, rain's here for the night, mate. The rain is in. The rain is in for the night. Smithy needs to watch those track limits at the chicane. Done it a few times now, says Peaceful in the chats. The stewards have noted Smithy's track limits. Um... Yeah, two wheels on the curb is what, you know, is he taking two wheels on the curb? Maze definitely is, because the curb actually goes on top of them, on top of the chicane peaceful, so the curb actually is it's quite thick at there, so it's not just that bit running across the bottom where it dips, it actually goes onto the top as well, and you actually lose time for hitting that top, because it's a bit like a, a little jump, it, it lifts you up, so I'm not sure Smithy's taking the track limits just yet I think he's got two wheels on the curb but we'll see but you're right four seconds quicker than Mays last time around Mays had a problem he was two quick seconds quicker than Kelly Rabbit Joe's lapping quicker than Kelly uh, DJ Phil's lapping at the same pace as Smithy and Joe so Ooh. oh Mays bit of a problem at the curb pin he's lost a bit of time there now he's gained over Smithy this lap but he's just lost a little bit of time and Liam Mays is flirting with danger here he is indeed and poor nah right it's such an intense moment because any, at nah. any point, Mays could just drop yeah. it and Smith can gain that time. Now, let's not forget, Liam, as well. This man can beat Fury's record of 13 wins in a season. He's currently on seven. He can get to 15 if he wins every race from here to the end of the season. But driving like this tonight, Mays is going to struggle especially reverse yeah. grid draw. Mays could struggle. He's really struggling out there at the moment. And... Um, Look, he's struggling again just to get around this first part Very of the track. Slow there, yeah. Very slow. Smithy's dropped to 11 seconds back. Mays in the 40s on the last time around. So Mays really looking quick at the moment. But just takes that one mistake again for Mays. And uh, it could all go horribly wrong. KLF, six seconds behind Smithy. Rabbit Joe still some 13 seconds behind Kelly. But he's lapping that bit quicker. So can Rabbit Joe just start to grind that time down? There's Kelly then. Uh, 11 seconds to Joe, six and a half to Smithy. What track limit, says Disco? Uh, uh, um, 
in the chat says that Mays look another wiggle. Who else we got? Who, who we not seen? No, we not seen much of Welsh in self sloth tonight. How are them boys doing? Uh, the Lamborghini just looks awful around here, doesn't it? Yeah, and I, I did say during, I think it was either practice or qualifying, that that Lamborghini just does not show yeah. anything around here. It just seems so slightly, so vulnerable. It does seem it's vulnerable. So You're right, yeah. It does seem very, very vulnerable here. As uh, Well, she's trying to gain over his teammate Stovsloff. There they are for seventh and eighth. So they've gained a place with... Oh, he's just got past Stovsloff because Stovsloff had a huge wiggle through the chicane. So that's allowed... Uh, well, she threw... Now, don't forget, you don't have to move out of the way of bat markers. And it's Maze Gamer who is catching these two. No, it's not. It's Rabbit Joe. Oh, oh Stosloff takes the chicane. Is that to try and avoid Joe and not spin in front of Joe? Possibility. Well, this is all um, allowing Kelly to pull away a little bit from Joe. But Mays still doing a cracking job out front. He's extended that gap to 14 seconds to Smithy. Oh, there's a bit of... Yeah, Joe's going to look up the inside here. Right oh, and Stovesloff. To the yes. side of him. Wow. I don't think I was... I think I was more Stovesloff turning in on Joe there, to be fair. That's, uh, yeah, that's what I mean. Just straight into the side of the... Uh, well, front, should I say, of Joe. Just cutting his nose off a bit and, well, essentially taking them both out. Mm, that'll give Joe a bit more damage and will not help Joe in terms of his pursuit of... Uh, sorry, in terms of don't know, mate, gaining on him. Being another retirement down to eight, yet we lost Dean Musaki Pian. So he retired from the race, but we're on lap 18 of 22. Smithy lapping quicker than Kelly still. I think Kelly may have conceded a P3 here, lapping a lot slower than uh, the Maze Gamer. But Smithy won't mind this. He'll be delighted with a P2 nonetheless. And uh, Maze Gamer going on to lap 18. Well, this makes it a little bit more interesting because he's now got that gap. I think, though, has he made another mistake? He, he has. has! He's made another mistake! Bro. And he's hit. has he hit the wall? How much damage he, does he have? Wow. I think he's hit the wall! Don't know, mate's in the pit, so he may have damage. What a shame for him! He, but, he, oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, he's managed he, to hold on to it! On he's though. managed to hold on to it! Now, what damage does Maze Gamer have? Is the top he of that hill getting it? No, it looks twitchy. That looks very twitchy. Maze Gamer could have some serious damage here. He looks all over the place in that Merc. A bit worse than before. Maze so Gamer then... Made have to pick I, yeah, I think he, he yeah I think he might I think you're right Liam Smithy may be a temp uh, our temporary race leader I th uh, Maze has got a pit that's undrivable DJ Phil's wow. got passed out no mate Maze is going to risk it oh he's off again but he's going to risk it here Liam I don't think that's the right choice I think he's good I think he needs to pit I think that Mercedes looks too bad. The, st the slow and steady, the talk you've heard of the tortoise and the hare, we've got, we're releasing a new book, The Smithy and the Maze. Because wow. this could be a brand new winner to Simplay Motorsport, not the Porsche, but the driver. Never been to Zolder in the GT3s. And he's throwing up an absolute cracker. Maze is struggling. Wow. That damage to wow. that car, that Mercedes set up on that car, looks awful at the moment. Smithy's got the gap down to 7.2. The Porsche looks stronger than the Merc. Maze off again! Oh, come on! Liam, it could happen. We could oh. crown a new winner. We, we need to make we need winner. to make sure that in the mid-session break, Smithy's got his setting set so that he can do an interview because I cannot wait for the viewers to listen to this interview. 17 people watching. Let's get as many likes out there for a potential brand new winner to the league. Smithy 8.9 behind Maze, but Maze having wiggles of his own then and he comes over the hill where we lost it last time. Oh, what a big twitch here. But Maze's car is all over the place and yes, all right. Oh, he's he's gapping Smithy, he's but he's round. He's round. He's backwards in the gravel. Where's Smithy? Where's Smithy? He's coming. Smithy's he's coming are coming. Oh, you cannot script this kind of stuff. Into the chicane, Smithy can see Maze Gamer. Back on the track. Wow, we have got a race on lap 19 of 22. Maze Gamer surely has to pit that damage. Looks like it's killing the Mercedes Benz, but he needs to stay out because he may lose a podium. He needs to pit though because he may lose that race win. Look at it. It is all over the place. It's zigzagging. Oh, no. Maze Gamer may lose out to Smithy, but what a glorious moment this will be for Smithy, and I bet he what is... What a glorious sweating. moment this will be for the league to have a race winner. A, a brand new race winner. We love new race winners, and what a glorious moment this will be. It's your day, Smithy, says Danny in the chat. Coming round to start lap 20. 
Oh, oh mate! He's hit the wall again! That's going to give him even more damage! And surely, surely now he's got to pit that Mercedes. He's becoming undrivable here. He's surely got... Look at he's all over the place. Smithy is gaining and gaining and gaining. And Maze, Disco in the chat, he knows what nothing but one speed and that's full speed. And I, I, I applaud his, his decisions of Maze to go full speed flat out to nothing. But this is costing him the race win. Is he oh. round? Is he round? No, big He's slide. Down. He is Ooh. catching it. But wow, this Mercedes is undrivable onto the grass again. He goes. This Mercedes is becoming a handful. Smithy has to gap down to 2.2. Two seconds. Obviously, it extends as he day. comes through the corner. I love crowning new winners, and there's nothing like crowning yes. a new winner than, 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 than in this fashion, because Smithy, he's a loyal driver, he's a loyal fan, he's here every week. Oh, Maze oh game and span! Maze game and span! And this could be the moment Smithy needed! Bit of a twitch, but oh. he's held on to it, and Smithy leads! Come on, Smithy, Smithy leads this race! Two laps to go, two and a bit laps to go! The most, one of the most dedicated drivers here at Simplay Motorsport. He never quits. He never surrenders. He never says no. He never says t time to call it a day. And he's on for his first race win. The Mercedes of Maze Gamer should have pitted. He's cost himself a race win. But he's got a time and a chance to make it back. And here oh, he goes. He's going to have a look right at it. Smithy him. defends his line. And Maze, oh, Maze spun. a span. He span. Smithy just runs a little deep. Was that in avoidance of Maze? But he keeps it going. Joe is hunting down Kelly for third. I said Joe could get a podium here. This is doable. Has Kelly missed his wow. chance? Smithy has got a gap over Maze of three and a bit seconds. Maze, for me, has to pit. I, I'm, I'm, I'm gobsmacked. I'm, I'm sorry, Matt, but wow. Smithy leading the race with two laps to go. And right, he, he's going to be jumping up and down in his seat right now. He needs to keep it calm. He does need to keep it calm. He knows he's got one and a bit, like one and three quarter laps to go as they come through turn one. Maze. That's Maze again who's wow. off. Now does this give Kelly and Joe a chance of another podium? Not only are they taking points away, but Kelly and Joe are not near it. Maze close enough. Kelly will see the timer coming down. Maze should have pitted. His Mercedes has got wow. too much damage and it's causing him to lose time. Oh, we could have fireworks here at the end. Bonfire night Friday. Well, we've got an early one here on Wednesday night. Maze is all over the place. Seven seconds to KLF wow. with a lap and a bit to go. I fancy Joe and Kelly to take this podium away from Maze, you know. There is a possibility with how much Maze is Struggling. How, may, how much time? Oh, he's, oh off he's off again! And he's hit the wall again, so that's more damage. How much time has Maze lost through not repairing the damage, through spinning off? Could that have been a pit stop that could have uh, saved Maze some time? Gave Maze laps. Maze Gamer here has really, oh, really insane. got some big damage on the car. Kelly, five seconds off the back of him. Smithy has an eight second lead. Smithy's coming up to the hairpin. Who's that Smithy's about to lap? Sounds like Whoever a Lamborghini. Is, we need to move out the way because... I know. It's the Audi wow. of Don't Know, mate. I hope, Bryn, if you're listening, just get out of the way. You've just done great You've done great for your P6. You will not qualify for the next race, but get out of the way. I think we need a new yeah. uh, race feature where you can, if you feel a car is dangerous become, uh, because of damage ETC, you can order it to pit. Uh, don't care about race two, Smithy for driver of the day. He's going to wipe someone, says Disco. Disco has a point there. <laughs> Maze is driving. has just got, because of his damage, it's just becoming a little too erratic here. Yeah, he does. That's this. I think that's what the point Disco's making, and I kind of agree with it. Something that the stewards will have to look, look at. I've got goosebumps. Come on, Smithy, you better make sure he's got his mic settings right for the interview. Uh, we will, Smithy we will make sure mistake. that his mic settings will be right. If Smithy has made a mistake, he will be kicking himself. Five seconds to Maze. We've lost Stealth Sloth. He's retired. Uh, would have got to three-quarter distance, so he will score points for that. Oh, Maze is off again. So we will get.
get himself eighth place points. Maze Gamer off once again. But I tell you what, 16 people in the chat. Spread this around. Get as many people in to watch this because you're going to see another new winner. We saw Rookbar last week in race two. We're going to get Smithy this week. Kelly has got three seconds to Maze. Rabbit Joe has only got far about five, six seconds to Maze Gamer. Welcome, Smithy, to the winner's circle. We'll cut to Smithy in just a moment. But Joe and Kelly could gain on Maze. Let's go to Kelly a second because he is gaining on Maze. 2.7 seconds here. Is it doable? Get the thumbs up. Get the viewers in for this. There's Maze. It's There's possible. Kelly. There's half a lap to go. Let's go to Smithy. He's at the hairpin corner. This is a night to remember. This is a night to remember. You told your grand Smithy will be able to tell his kids when they're old enough. Where was you on the 3rd of November? Because I was winning a race and I'm winning my first race and he comes into the final chicane. And it's going to be Smithy who's going to take the, the race win here. Yes! And it's going to be CC Smithy 8702 who wins for the first time at Simplay Motorsport. What a drive wow. that was from him. Don't know me will cross the line for a P6. What a good job from Don't Know Me in this one. Not a bad race for him at all. Maze Gamer then will come across for P2. Luckily in the end. Oh, just Kelly, Kelly will make this one P3. Rabbit Joe lost out in the end for a P4. DJ Phil, good drive from him. He stuck in there for a P5. Wow. And uh, well, she is well a lap down in P6 with his team, uh, P7 with his teammate retiring P8. We wait for the fastest lap. Yes, lad, congratulations, says Dan. Welcome to the club, Smithy. Very well earned. What a drive. DJ fell P5. He's about to cross the line. He's had a decent night tonight. What could have been for Smokey Devil? What could have been for Stovesloff as well? Looks like everyone is ignoring chart limits now. FFS says Mike. Looks like everybody could be getting a, a bit of a warning or a bit of a penalty uh, from the stewards. As uh, we wait for Welshy, then I think it's Welshy. We're waiting to cross the line. Yeah, here he comes then. Not the night for the Lamborghinis. Oh. And across the line he comes and Smithy then. Gets his first race win. The important bit now is who takes the fastest lap. That goes the way of Maze Gamer. So he gets an extra yes. point there for fastest lap. Oh, Liam. Smithy from Maze, wow. from Kelly. Rabbit Joe, DJ Phil. Don't know, mate. Well, she stealths off. We lost Smokey Devil and Dean Wasaki in there as well. We'll get the top three in for an interview. Um, and then we'll be right back in just a moment for qualifying two. Smithy, Smithy, Smithy. Get the top three in front of interview, My please. God. I am so happy for Smithy right now. <sighs> you, don't see, you can't see this grin on my <laughs> face right now, but pop <sighs> me. Oh, Dan. What a night to miss. Oh, right. So it's Smithy, Kelly. Smithy, Mason, Kelly. Kelly. Yeah. Oh. Smithy's wow. got a win on his name. <laughs> yes, boy. You know what's oh. even more funny? He's had more wins this season than Dean has. <laughs> this season... Nah, Smithy needs to get some more. That's Maze Gamer. Well done, Maze, but... Liam, oh, we're, we're on mute. We're in the break. We're, we're at the breaks. So we're not in the interviews yet, mate. No, I know we're not in the interviews. Oh, I'm right, just okay, saying okay, it. Okay. Oh my god. Kelly. Kelly. Well done, Hello. Kelly. We're waiting for the man, the myth, the legend to join because I'm actually going to scream down my mic. So, tab warning, guys. Do you know the stupid thing? Okay. Do, you know, do, you know, do, you know, do you know what the funny thing is? Smithy's on double points and texts me saying, I won't win, but I'll take them anyway. Yes! <laughs> Nah, 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 come on, Swifty, you need to join, He's... guys. I'm actually jumping up was that, and down. How hard right was now. that one, Kelly? That looked. That oh, looked. that's. That's. From... Nope. Hello. Oh, he's in game chat, that's why he needs to change it back to party chat. Right now. I um... don't know why I'm so happy, but I am so happy for Smithy right now. Smithy's gone P9. 
Dean is third from bottom. He's one point ahead of his teammate who's on holiday and missed half the season. Oh, Smithy on double points could go ahead to Smokey Devil tonight. <laughs> I mean, I know Smokey's got to take double points, but... Manufacturer wins. That's another win for the Porsche. That's nine wins. That put... Right, Kelly, you was in game chat, so we lost you. Yeah, yeah, I'm back. So what was you going to say? Back, that I was don't know. Was a... I was saying that was horrible. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was... Um... I've already joined this, didn't I? Um, it was... My tyres never even got warm. No. They were like they were like blue all the way through. Well, green at the start, obviously, but... Um... But, yeah, just unreal, man. Yeah. Smithy. Yes, boy. Well done, mate. Come on, Smithy! I'll, t I'll take my double points. Not like I'm going to win anything tonight. <laughs> Smithy, you do not know how happy I am for um, you right Liam, now. Liam, talk him through to make sure his settings are right. I'm just going to go to the toilet. Right, I've got to talk you through your settings, Smithy. Yeah. Like I say, you, I'm so happy for you right now. Cheers. Like, sorry everybody else, but... It's Smithy. <laughs> yeah, we've got to watch Smithy in the wet. That's where he's the best. Yes. That's, oh. that's where you've got talent. That was not... I'm, I'm, <laughs> I am so... I, I, I'm so glad I could commentate tonight. I... Wow. Right, you commentated so you last to... time I got on the podium, I think. Yeah, I did. Yeah, might well. Yeah, because that was wet race might, as well, wasn't it? My luck. Yeah. My luck. Right, so uh, you need to go into... Um, to party screen. Yep. It should be this way anyway. Party settings. Yep. I and mean, it should be allow your voice to be shared on always allow. Yep. Yeah, that's from the last time. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Wow. Good feeling, isn't it? Yeah, I couldn't do it every week, though. No way. No, you not in those bloody conditions. Every week. <laughs> Smithy, this is a law that you've got now. Every time I'm commentating, you're winning. <laughs> I if think there's do... a bit more than that. Nah, I'll put a sponsorship in there. I'll sponsor you, yeah, to win every race I commentate on. <laughs> <laughs> if I was in a Beamer, I wouldn't have got in there. No way. I'm glad I was changed back to the Porsche. All right, that, that was not where I was going. seems like the best thing for you. That that was the night I was going, I wish I was in the Porsche, I wish I had the Porsche. So wish I was in the Porsche. Oh, that's just a bit of luck. No, nah, mate, really no, nah, you were consistent. That was, that's, that's, that, that was your skill. I, I got, you know when you spun KLF on one of the corners, I think it was the first one, wasn't it? And I hit your front on. That gave me some damage in the pits, when you jumped me in the pits as well. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Because no, um, yeah, I started going, going round. Way, yeah, I was going round. You gave me a little clip on the way past, didn't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I think I've spun more tonight than I have all season. In fact, I know I have. <laughs> that second corner is a nightmare. E e, so difficult. Oh. That and the um, and um, I was struggling with the the second of the chicane. The first chicane was all right. Yeah. But the second chicane, man. Oh. God, yeah, every line I took seemed to find, you know, some way of spinning. I think everybody cut that a smidge. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Mm. Yeah, I'm surprised Matt's not shouted. Yeah, like, this is oh, the greatest moment ever. <laughs> Damn, who thought you'd won it, Liam? Yeah. Fucking, I feel like I have, but wow. I know I haven't. I'm so happy for Swiffy. Well, I, like practiced, I practiced this the other day for uh, about half an hour, and I thought, oh, I need to take double points. And I practiced the other track, and then the missus went into labour, so I haven't done any more <laughs> practice. And then I was just like, ah, oh, I'll double points this week. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sort of like, congratulations like, on your little one as well. Oh, yeah, much. congratulations. Congratulations, hopefully. Oh. It'll bring you some more luck. <laughs> fatigue, that's what it is. You're obviously good on fatigue. Yeah. That was good fun. That was good fun. I'd have settled for a third, fourth, or fifth. <laughs> 
<clears throat> I, I went in totally like whatever happens happens. So yeah. I'll take I'll take third. To be honest, I'll take that as a as a good result because yeah, that's that was I don't so know what hard. Happened to rabbit, he was flying. Was yeah, he started catching me. Yeah, yeah, he was flying, but he yeah, I think he dropped it so many times he couldn't recover. I mean, he was only a couple of seconds off me by the end, you yeah. know. But um, yeah, I was just he was 15 seconds back, and then I had another spin. And why is it all spins always end up you pointing in the wrong direction? Exactly. You know, yeah. why can't you have a spin and like you know, 360 or, or whatever, always <laughs> pointing in the wrong direction? And then this, uh, then the steering lock's never long, big enough. Do you know what I mean? Or you spin it round uh, yeah, on the accelerator going. and then can't? Yeah. yeah, it keeps going. And oh god, I must learn to recover better. Oh, I must have got more points in one race than I got all season, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, twenty-five for a win. Double, oh, so I got, right. yeah. in front of I, got, I got more points than I got all season. You oh, yeah. can't race. I thought when he said there's only 10 races, I thought oh, I'm going to get a few points because I've doubled, the doubled, doubled up. Like well, see, the, the key is all you got to do is that every week, and then you, and then it's easy. <laughs> well, I certainly felt I have been, I have been a bit more consistent than normal, but everyone else seems to be quicker. Right, hey, uh, yeah. Is it trouble? Yeah, there seems to be um, a better quality of driver this year, or people have got better, yeah, and you know. Yeah. But luckily, I, ca- I got the same setup as the one when I come second that time because I went back to the board. Oh, yeah, nice, nice oh, that's the first time, other than Daytona, where I was on slicks anyway. Um, yeah. that I... Where's Mays? One in Disco's face after taking a mick last week in the chat. So <laughs> I'm 10 seconds off everyone. Yeah. Yeah, no, mate, you've got to dine out on this one all week. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Get too shaky. Mate, <laughs> good, mate, very sorry, mate, but I'm so exhausted. I'm not confident to take a drive in a safe way for race two, so better for me not to drive. Huh. Is that Maze? Yeah, that's Maze, so he's not racing race two. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Fifth, sixth, next race Right, don't forget, nah, Smithy. Smithy. Gary says in the chat, don't forget, you can't, next... you can't qualify for the next race, Smithy, don't forget. Oh, yeah, 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 that I'm... must be a weird feeling for you. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, dude, I can't help myself. Liam, yeah. have you talked him <laughs> yeah. through the settings? Yeah, yeah that's all done, but sweet. Right. Yes, yeah, you need... Yeah, you're in. So, Stealth, Phil, Kelly, Dean, Smokey, Joe, Smithy, Walshy. Eight. Who are we missing there? Dean? No, Dean's in. I'm going to get my notebook. So, Walshy, Stealth, Kelly, Dean, Joe, Mays, Bryn. Where's Bryn? I couldn't call who was going to win that race. That was so unpredictable. I tell you what, after I was in lead for, um, I was in the lead, out the lead, in the lead, out the lead, and in the lead, out the lead. It was about lap six. I'm going, oh my God, there's still so many laps to go. Yeah, it was long, wasn't it? Oh God, it was. Well, I was in the lead at lap 11, and I'm thinking, oh, another. We're only half distance, and I can hardly hold on to the car then. Oh, Kelly, if it rains like this tomorrow night. <laughs> oh, oh. We're, we're, what, we're down on the pad? Lovely, you will love that. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> oh. <coughs> There's only four drivers able to qualify for this. It matter, we're just gonna have some brilliant racing, and we're gonna get Smithy getting a, another race when he's gonna do a care oh, yeah, right. of buses. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, that's unrealistic, Liam. I mean, yeah, exactly. probably, probably, probably <laughs> second, just behind me. <laughs> second. <laughs> for a fifth. Oh, you need to make sure you don't bin it first. Who, me? Yeah. It don't happen often. Right. <laughs> Oh, 
Welcome back then, ladies and gentlemen, to Simplay Motorsport. We've got the top two in here. Mate's Gamer doesn't feel safe enough to drive in race two. Is he uh, uh, tiredness kicking in, fatigue kicking in? So he doesn't feel safe enough to race in the second race. So therefore, we'll not be taking part, he said, in the chat. So the top six cannot qualify, meaning that the only four drivers who can qualify is Smoky Devil, Dean Wasaki, Stealth Sloth, and Welsh. We are down to nine runners now. But what it has done is it's given us such an opening with Mace Gamer out the running for race two. This is anyway, it's anybody's game with him in the running because the wet conditions was that bad. Just going to quickly go through the standings. Maze Gamer uh, leads the way 45 points ahead of KLF, but with no Maze Gamer this round, that gives Kelly such a chance now to close that gap once again. Argent stays third, but has lost ground to his title rivals. Rabbit Joe still P4, but gains over his teammate Nicky now over 100 points behind. Welshit P6 has gained on Nicky, obviously, for obvious reasons, but Nicky still got to take double points. Um, Smoky Devil, he's still got to take double points. He's in seventh place. Don't know, mate. He's on 119. The all-race winner has now gone up to P9 from P14. He is now on 118, a point behind. Don't know, mate. Could he go above? Don't know, mate, and Smoky Devil in the next race. Uh, with Smoky Devil still take double points. Possible for this week, but maybe not for next week. We'll have to wait to see, though. Who knows what's going to happen? Uh, Self Soft's P10 ahead of DJ Phil up bars in 12th, who've not been here. D was down in 13th, Alfie 14th, and last in the standings. Forever Forward lead the title way by 33 points. Team Prolapse have dented that uh, title hopes. You're of muted, this. Man, and oh, I can't hear. Brilliant. I've done it again. I've done it again. Apologies. Again, I'll go through the... Basically, Maze Gamer leads the way. Kelly's gone in second. Smithy's gone up to P9. Forever Forward have had their Constructors title dented by Prolapse by a couple of points. Team Prolassia just ahead of DJ Motorsport, MC Motorsport, catching them. And Iron Brew Racing, four points behind AA 3D printing in a battle there in the Constructors. Smithy's gone up to ninth on double points. He is your only driver on the double points tonight. We've lost Maze Gamer for this second race. Uh, fatigue kicking in, so he feels he's unsafe to drive this one. We've got... Uh, for all four drivers out there on the track at the moment and we'll start with Kelly who got P3 Kelly that was a hard hard race you're telling me Matt yeah yeah so so incredibly difficult um, like driving on ice totally you had a good start to the race you got in the lead you had a good little fight we don't know mate and, 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 and Smoky Devil and Smith the early parts did you think that it, it, the Renault was well suited for these conditions or was it just out, is everything just out the window tonight everything out the windows for I mean this is the first um, time I've driven the uh, Renault in anger in the wet uh, back at Daytona I was on slick so that didn't really uh, didn't really count and uh, um, I was wishing to be back in the Porsche I really was the Renault is not good in the wet and um, but I think everyone else was struggling um, nearly as bad but um, yeah you say a good battle well yeah, it was just survival, really. <laughs> yeah, so a good survival fight instead of a good yeah, fight yeah, for the lead. Yeah. Um, obviously, no teammate here tonight, which is a shame for yourself. Could have made a yeah. real big impact on the Constructors' fight. You've gained points over Joe, though. Um, what can you do race two? Take more points away from Joe and Maze game with him not being here? Go out for that race win? Uh, again, Matt, just survival. Literally, um, just trying to keep on track. Uh, I think I spun more times uh, tonight than I have all season. Uh, in fact, I know I did. So it's just survival and see what happens when we get to the end. Well, we wish you the best of luck, mate, for race two. Thank you. Uh, and we've got our first time race winner. I'll tell you what, nobody could be more happier than this guy and, and me and Liam in the commentary box. Smithy, you, your first ever race win. And uh, your message you sent to me earlier in the day was, I'll take my double points, not that I'm going to win. Well, a little bit of rain helped takes you back to Zui, doesn't it, last season? You got the second place here. This t tonight, Maze Gamer all over the place just was able to give you that extra step up the podium. I think a lot of luck helped again. A, a lot of luck. And the fact that I went back to the Porsche the, uh, through the middle of the season's helped. You looked very consistent in that Porsche tonight. The, the Porsche looked like it was more stable, the most stable car out there on the track. It, it, slow and steady won you that race, you could say. I'd agree with you there, yeah. I, I, felt com I felt comfortable at the start when I knew it was raining. Not, you... not enough to win it, but to be in the top six. Are you going to be on the phone tomorrow on the blower, giving them leechy losers a bit of a word or two? So you know, I'll be in the chat tomorrow, giving yeah. them a bit. Yeah, give them, <laughs> give, give, telling them what signs to take, co driver coaching them as such. Well, I don't know about that. They've done it. They've done it more times than I. Uh, first one, one race. <laughs> first race win, obviously in the same week is, is the the birth of your your, your baby boy. Um, yeah. Which congratulations, by the way. Yeah, it must right. be a cracking week for you. Can you do it, it again? It is. It is. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't say again. Um, I'll give it a go. But yeah, it's been good. It's nice, nice to have a have a win. 
Well, we'll let you get back to it, buddy. Everyone does do it to everyone. We'll let you get back to it, buddy. Sorry, Matt. Can I? I, I forgot to congratulate Smithy on a on a, on an epic drive. I couldn't catch him. He was the best man on the wet tonight. Cheers, Kelly. Nah, well said, Kelly. And uh, well done to Smithy as well. We'll let you guys get back to it. And uh, Liam, what two podium winners there who uh, fought for that one? Yeah. Um, and oh no, I'm just so happy. For Smithy right now and all the other guys on the podium but the first time win as most drivers would know is just an amazing feeling you just yeah and he joins yeah. a list of drivers Amy joins the Huis Rock who run a race in the GT5s he joins Stealth Sloth Aidan Bennett who have both won for MC Motorsport in the GT3 Pro Am he's joined Dean Wasaki Daniel Francis Alfie Cam and Ukbar on one win apiece and he's took his first win of the season same as Daniel Francis did and Alfie and Ukbar did this season so he's joined all of them on wins this year if he wins the second race he joins a long list it's got me Rabbit Joe and, and, and Nicky Peaceful Explosion hey, he's only one win behind Peaceful Explosion now it's, uh, what, what a job for, from him tonight as well on what is his 56th appearance uh, to take his first ever race win like you say what a job but we've yeah. got a title fight on here uh, with McMahon's game of pulling out of this race, we've got a massive fight on for this back half of the season. Yeah, we have. And, um, yeah, I, I don't really know what to say. <laughs> Looking down at the grid then, Smithy will start in P6. Don't know, mate, we'll actually get the best of the non-qualifiers. He'll start P5, and then it's just a battle between the top guys, really. Smoky Devil out there on a 38-6. So, wow, he smashed that first sort of uh, first lap there as Stoslav goes around. Dean's currently second, but he's up that pace a little bit here. He's got back on a bit of better pace um, at the moment in this one. What has he got to do now after such a poor race one when he was running in a good P5? What has he got to do? Stay racing, basically, because after race one, I mean, he kind of needs to keep it because, <laughs> like, like we've said, that's his second retirement of the season and keeps getting more and more he's, he's going to go back to last season again and he's going to lose 25 points yeah don't forget you do lose 25 points for four, five retirements in the season so Dean's got three more retirements in him unless he can prove otherwise unless there's any evidence that he can provide to say that he didn't retire then that's yeah. great but he's got to have that evidence to say that he was he, he retired through this or that as does every driver uh, Smoky Devil on a 38.6 I don't think that one's going to be beaten so I think Smoky Devil is going to take the extra point then in qualifying at the moment because his track is getting wetter and he's 3.6 out in front and I think that could be Smoky's job done I think that could be Dean as well sitting P2 on the grid and on the front row which would be his best qualifying of the season it was third um, but I mean qualifying's not over yet so we've got to wait and see as things keep going. But at the moment, you say Dean's looking pretty in second place with this rain just keep coming down. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Mike, Mike, Michael Connolly, a.k.a. Stealth Sloth. Our wet tyres are still on the lorry. Uh, we've no lorry drivers. It's slicks again for this race, he's saying. <clears throat> yeah, really, really good stuff uh, here as well. Great drive from Smithy. We'll have to get our votes. So we'd add tonight drivers then. No up bar. No Nicky for family reasons. Mace Gamer pulled out of this one. No Argent as he's away. And no Alfie because he's away. So we're down to the nine drivers. And we've got 51 seconds left to qualify. And Stealth Sloth's gone back to the pits. So it's a top three shootout. And you're, well, she's gone back to the pits as well. So it's a top two shootout. But you have to feel that uh, Dean is not going to gain 3.6 seconds on Smoky Devil. Smoky Devil must have got out there straight away. He, uh, Joe was only in the one minute 40. So whatever Smoky Devil's done to that setup, he couldn't have risked the soft tyres, could he? Uh, we've got Fury in the chat, no. bit late, but evening everyone. Sutty risked the soft sit there, core at Sugo last season in the wet. <laughs> I think Smoky Devil's done it in the, in, on here. 38, that's two seconds quicker than Maze Gamer's pace in Q1. I, I reckon Smoky may have gambled the slicks there, you know. Possibly. Very much possibly, but... He's... Uh, of two... He's going to be the last driver to go over the line. 
Um, yeah, he's, he's going to... Retire. I don't think he needs to go over. I think he could go back to the pits and call that a successful qualifying. Dean's going to come over the line. Bit of a wiggle out the final corner. He's not going to improve on 3.6 seconds. He is going to flash his lights. As there's no improvement from Dean there. So he will start on the front row of the grid. Dean has got to get away well. He's got to get his head down. He's just got to race hard. No maze gamer in this one. He says good luck for the guys still racing. He says what does he do? going into the rest of it. What does, what does Kelly have to do then? And Joe, both looking up for promotion, both looking up for that title, Liam. With Mays not yep. being here, it's a chance to really close that gap. 25 points on offer for a race win, 26 with fastest lap. That's a lot of that, that kind of halves Kelly's deficit to Mays Gamer. Yeah, it does. There's Smokey coming over for some reason doing this. Like yep, what Mays Gamer yeah, bit of a practice start in the wet. So that's your qualifying done then. It's Smokey Devil who takes pole in the extra point. Dean Wasaki will be second place from Walshie third. Stoffs off in P4. Don't know, mate. Is fifth. Uh, the first of the non-qualifiers ahead of Smithy. Rabbit Joe, KLF and DJ Phil Green in this one then. Liam, who are you tipping for this race win? Oh, it's hard to... Uh, I'm going to say Smithy. Very, 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 very long shot. But, I mean, it would be amazing if he got two. Because, as someone said once... Um, London, buses. London buses. London buses. London buses. Yeah. One brings two. One brings two. Can Smithy do it? I'm going I'm to throw a curveball. I'm going to say, don't know, mate. Oh. Starting in front of. Very strong at the, yeah. the, the beginning. Yeah. Well, I, I, I think it's yeah. anybody. I think anybody could win this. Even the Lamborghinis could come out and win this. I'm going to throw a curveball yeah. and go, don't know, mate, for his potential first race win. Um, Smokey Devil, if he keeps his connection, uh, could be a strong competitor. I'd have normally have, uh, have chucked a curveball and said Dean based on Oshislaben, but since Oshislaben, Dean Algarven tonight just hasn't looked great at all. No. Um, Smithy tells you to settle down, Liam. Don't be silly, he says. Smithy for a podium, <laughs> though, says Gary. Get your tips in for who you think is going to win, or if not, get on the podium. And then towards the end of the night as well, we'll get to either driver of the day. But I think, uh, I think unless there's a brand new winner again, which would be, uh, I think the only brand new winner to be is, is don't know mate out there on the grid. Because I think all these grid, all this grid now is race winners. I think, uh, I think Smithy's got that one nailed on. Ready up and pick your way through the traffic, says Gary. Evening, says Jamie Brazier. Jamie, where you been? Oh no, I know where you've been. Actually, been out. Um, you missed it. Smithy's took his first race win. What a start to the night. We're readying up. Two red lights, three red lights. Round 18 starts now, and it's not a good start from Smokey Devil or from Dean Woodsocky, but it's a great start from Ooh. the Lamborghinis, and that's Dean and Stoffsloff. And don't know, mate, and Rabbit Joe all involved in an incident. And what happened there, I do not know, but don't know, mate, has lost the rear wing and has significant damage. But it's Welsh who leads this race. In fact, both oh, don't know, mate, and Stoffsloff. Wow. Significant damage to the car there, so that is them not really going anywhere in this one. But what could they do from now? This is the question. What kind of recovery drive can they have? Smithy already up to P3. Kelly's up to fourth as well. Well, she leads from Smoky Devil. It looked like Dean came across the front of Stoff Sloth there, but it's hard to say. But at the minute, well, she, Smoky, Smithy, Kelly, Rabbit, Phil, Dean, don't know, mate, Stoff Sloth. You have to feel for don't know, mate, Stoff Sloth. They will be able to make an early pit stop. They will be able to get it going for race two as... The, uh, the bollards go flying everywhere at the first chicane. Head down now from Welsh. She's got a 1.1 second lead. He's just got to be consistent. Well, she's already had a podium this season. It's nice to see Welsh fighting back up there. But look at Smithy, Liam. Already P3. Oh, oh it's it's Smokey's Smithy. round. Smokey's round. Smithy goes P2. Kelly's gone P3. Where's Rabbit Joe? He's just come up into fourth. So has Smokey stayed P5? I think he has ahead of his teammate. Yep. No, he's actually dropped seventh. In fact, he's gone behind. DJ Phil and Dean with Socky. There is Dean, who looks like he could have some damage to the front of that car. If that is collision with Stealth Sloth off the line. But it's Walshy. Uh, Smithy now, who's got Kelly attacking the back of him. But these former teammates here from the McLaren days of DJ Phil and Dean with Socky, what can they do? That Mercedes SLS doesn't look too damaged, to be fair, Liam. Looks like it's handling quite nicely. Yeah, it is, to be fair. Um, I think it was more the, the two... I want to say it was uh, Don't Know Me and Stealth Sloth that went together with obviously Dean collecting them. I, I just want to say it was them hitting each other which has caused 
the rear wings to go off as no, Dean, know. Br Bryn got Bryn got Br Bryn got caught up with Dean and Stelf Sloth. You look at the start, Dean and oh. Stelf Sloth are tangled. Um and they go into the wall and as they go as they bounce off the wall, that catches the rear of Don't Know Mate's car, which knocks his rear wing off. So Don't Know Mate can pit. I think though, he's carried on on his way. Um, well Yes. I mean I'd be that bringing I'd be bringing that in, but I mean Good on him for keeping very, it. Very good, yeah, good on him for keeping it out there. Self Soft though has came into the pits. Don't know, mate. Can pit, but at the oh, Self Soft's got himself a 10 second penalty as well to go with that one. But it's at the minute. Well, sheet from Smithy from Kelly, but Kelly attacking the back of Smithy here, and it's just within a couple of tenths. Well, she just needs to keep his head going and just needs to keep that Lamborghini pointing in the right direction. We said Joe had great pace tonight, but he's not really shown it in the race. All right, made a few mistakes, got caught up in race one, didn't he? But he's not. Not been caught up here, and he's not really gaining on the back of these two like we'd have expected him to. We know as that Porsche goes on in the race that it looks a bit stronger than the Renault, so the early parts of this race could be a bit quiet for the Porsche, and then it could get better as it goes along. Gary, maybe another win for Smithy. He says in the chat, 19 people watching, make sure you hit that thumbs up button for Smithy's first race win. Self Stoff is going to be a lap down. I think Don't Know Mate is really starting to struggle. He can bring it into the pit lane to, to get that uh, changed and to get that one sorted. There he is. Look, I mean, he's still going. You have to give him credits for that to still be going and only be 15 yeah. seconds off the back of Smokey Devil, who's down behind Dean. Now, Dean still not got past DJ Phil yet, but he's, he, he's close. Kelly's having a look a little bit on Smithy there. Oh, Smithy sideways. Oh, he's round. Yeah, what a shame. Has he kept it out the wall? No. no. What a shame for Smithy. Joe oh. had a moment there as well, it looked like, in the background, but he's kept going. That's Dean who's had a moment, though. And that's self Stoff who's just come out of the pits. And Dean Wasaki has had a big moment at turn one. And that's huge damage. If that's that, nah, if that's big enough damage, a Smoky Devil oh, spins around. So Smithy's dropped to fifth. Can Smithy get it back up above DJ Phil and Rabbit Joe? If Dean's got big enough damage, Bryn, don't know, mate, has still not pitted. He's still going. Wow. Well, if he's finding it able to drive, then good on him. <clears throat> yeah. But we have had it a couple of times where this game like <laughs> that. Jamie Bray's here. So no, yeah, you're right. Good. Yeah, you're right. Jamie Bray's here. Wait, Smithy won race one. Yes. Smithy won race one. Go back and watch it, Jamie. As Kelly oh, goes round at the second chicane, and this allows Rabbit Joe to come. Kelly tries to move out of the way of Rabbit Joe and does so successfully. This could allow DJ three to get DJ to fill to get third. As Kelly then has to now wait. He didn't get it back going as quick as he wanted, and Smithy, even though he had a moment, is now back ahead of KLF. KLF has got Smoky Devil coming towards him as well, and so far, if you're Kelly, uh, not the best of nights at the moment. Well done, Smithy lad. Says Jamie in the chat. And Kelly down to P5, but you've got DJ Phil just trying to gain on Rabbit Joe a little bit. Joe now up to second. Well, she's been given, though, an eight-second bit of breathing space. As he is Rabbit Joe, he must have made a mistake because the gap wasn't that close a minute ago. And Phil looks left. He's now going to look right. Is he going to send one up the inside at the final chicane? No, decides to break a bit earlier than Joe. And maybe look for an undercut at the chicane and get the move done elsewhere. Joe, though, very tight on the exit of the chicane and manages to keep hold of that. Smithy in the background, look. Looks like he's just making a few inroads here. So the two seconds second and third place drivers making a mistake DJ Phil lapping really nicely there and by all these two making a mistake Joe just looks like he struggled in the wet tonight and I mean that Mercedes yeah. just looked handful in everybody's hand but Joe has struggled we tipped him for good pace out there tonight and he struggled yeah um, maybe not getting in enough race lap maybe just been practicing to get a fast lap so we can get a good qualifying yeah and Joe who's uh, who's took a race win this year been on the podium a fair few times at three pole positions to his name now where's DJ Phil cameraman picks him up that cameraman at corner is not very good here but Phil looking on the back of Joe they've got Smithy for 3.6 seconds behind and oh Phil's dropped it he's dropped it at the first chicane and that's gave Joe the breathing space but he's crucially going to give Smithy an extra place Phil then gets back onto the track where is Smithy he's up to third Phil gets going just before uh, KLF comes round don't know, mate. Still did not pit on that last lap. He can pit. Here comes Kelly attacking the rear of the Mercedes-Benz of DJ Phil Green, but cannot get it done. That's where Kelly made the mistake last lap. But Smithy's now once again back on the podium, Liam. Yeah. Um, it's a good start. It just means to 
take the rest of the race nice and smooth, as I'm going to say, but there is still a very long race, 18 laps. Oh, Kelly does sell DJ Phil the dummy, and he sells him the dummy like a good and a bit of contact there. Nothing malicious about that one, but Kelly gets that job done. And uh, he went to uh, went to Mothercare, picked up a brand new set of dummies there because he sold Phil an absolute gem. Welsh out front, nine seconds in the lead of this man. Where is Welsh? Let's just look at him a second because he had a terrible race one by his standards. But he's just cruising out there at the minute, lapping similar to Joe, but just cruising. Yeah, um, just showing that the Lamborghini is here when it comes to this track and uh, let's just watch him. <laughs> at the moment then the battle between KLF and Smithy is uh, happening because that gap's come down just a little bit Smokey Devil's not too far sorry DJ Phil is not too far in the background then you've got Smokey Devil as well Dean's dropped to 7th but he's some 11 seconds off the back of Smokey Devil and don't know mate still going on lap 8 on lap sorry at lap 5 He's on his fourth lap, coming to finish it now. 47 seconds off the lead, but has huge damage. And I think, looking at the track map, has now just brought it in. Is so that... I... Yeah. Oh, yeah. So don't know, mate, into the pits he comes in. Yeah. And uh, rightly so. Clearly, they're starting to struggle now, the wetter it gets. But into the pits he comes. Now, that early stop could help him in the long run at the end of this race. But what can it do? For the other guys, Joe is making no inroads on Welsh. A couple of tenths he's gained, but then has lost it all. In fact, has Joe had a moment because he's lost a bit more time? No. Oh, maybe he's had a wiggle. Maybe he's had a wiggle because he lost a bit of time there to Walsh. He threw that chicane, but uh, either way, he's still gaining over Smithy. KLF, though, really trying to gain on the back of Smithy now. Keep your eye on the blue dot in the pit lane, which is don't know, mate. He's uh, ahead of Stealth Sloth, who is just in front of this battle here. Uh, but he's making an early stop. Can don't know, mate, get Dean in this one. That's a little rivalry, a little personal rivalry between them two as well. And don't know, mate, in his debut season, he's winning that battle. But Dean still has double points to take, as don't know, mate, is, I think, just starting to move in the pits. No, that's just my eyes. No, that's just my eyes. Stove Sloth there will get past. Don't know, mate, is he is still sat in the pit lane at the moment. So he comes through to take P9. But uh, don't know, mate, doesn't have to pit again. And has been lapped by majority of the field here. And I think he's now on his way. That dot now looks like it's moving. So don't know, mate. Looks like he's he's on his way now. Yep, out of the pits he comes. He's going to come around turn one. A longer way around. Longer pit exit here. You have to take such a wide line at turn one. DJ Motorsport really gaining over Maze over Team Pro Lassie. Now as Kelly's oh, had a moment. Kelly. Yeah, Kelly's had a spin then. That's allowed Phil through. And I think Smokey Devil's lost it. Always. Dazed. Yeah, that, Stealth that Sloth. Like the, yeah. I think wow. I think Stealth Sloth had a moment. He got going and then Smokey lost it. But Smokey then couldn't capitalise on Kelly making yet another mistake. Gaps come down up front, so as well she made a mistake because he was nine tenths quicker than Joe on the last lap, but the gaps come down to three and a half seconds. So what has happened to Welshy here? Because the gap has come right down. Joe has half the deficit to Welshy. I don't know if we can go to him. To Welshy. Oh, well, shit, sorry. <laughs> Car looks fine. Doesn't look too badly damaged, so maybe just a mistake. But as the track gets wetter, is this Lamborghini going to get... Is its performance going to drop off? We'll have to wait and see. But at the moment, it is Walsh leading this race from Rabbit Joe, from Smithy, who's three, two and a, two and a half seconds, sorry, seconds ahead of DJ Phil with Kelly and Smokey Devil right on the back. Dean is some 13 seconds off the back of this pack here. And don't know, mate, within six seconds of Stolzhoff, and Stolzhoff has that 10-second time penalty, so that's pretty much eighth place for don't know, mate, but everybody else has got to pit. And uh, the only person who didn't lap don't know, mate, in Stolzhoff was Dean. Dean has had the night from hell, you could say. Yeah. Um, so from obviously uh, what we suspect as a retirement from race one, now into race two, he's in seven, um, 15 seconds from... A big bunch of guys. He needs mm. to just get his head down. And just I mean, he might be. It. I mean, it's, look. I mean, look at that. that. He's definitely carrying damage, so it will be better after the pit stop, which opens at the end of the next lap. Now, if Dean's damage. Oh, now who's that? That's Smoky Devil, who has had another mistake at turn one. How nice is Smithy? How humble. Congrats, Smithy. Says X Martin. Brilliantly, so rightly so. He wasn't too, you know, happy with his performance, but very humble in the interview I'm sure he'll be able to relax after race two's done he knows he's, he's still got a job to do but Liam Dean with damage to sort out <sighs> he's just got to get it going he's just got to get he's just uh, does he let himself you've tested with him a lot you've, you've been with him in the same house has he let himself down at times yes 
Oh, oh yes, I could. I can tell you that he doesn't do himself any favours. There's Kelly then having a look on the back of DJ Phil after DJ Phil looks slow, and Kelly's going to look at the second chicane and has the outbreak. DJ Phil, what a manoeuvre yeah. from Kelly. Nice wow. early up the inside. Good send it manoeuvre there. I'll be one. Sutty would have been proud of there. Is uh, I think Sutty's been proud of a few sending manoeuvres tonight. Don't know, mate, in race one did a good one as well. I think Sutty would be proud of. But Kelly then back up to P4 and can hunt down the back of Smithy once again. The gap out front. Well, she must have made a mistake. Look, because in the 51s he was last time round compared to Joe's 46. As Joe looks a bit more stable in this second race, Liam, as he's now on the back of Walsh. She tries. Well, she made another mistake because this is for the race lead. Rabbit Joe didn't get the run out of the final corner. Just saying, as Rabbit Joe looks a bit more consistent this second race, Liam. He's found that yeah. four seconds because, well, she may have made another mistake. And Joe now looking at the race lead. Yeah, and um, he just needs to make sure he keeps himself consistent from here on out. Um, obviously, being right behind Welsh, you may be struggling. Um, it seems the more this race goes on, the more that Lamborghini seems to struggle. Oh, and Joe, fun. Joe got all up the curb there and has lost the rear of the car. Now, where's Smithy? Just coming round turn two, Joe's at turn three, so the gap's been closed a bit. But Welsh, you defending from Joe, Joe got all up the kerb, and you do not want to be on these kerbs when they are wet. But Smithy now has second place in his sights once again. DJ Phil trying to gain on the back of KLF in the back, excuse me, in the background as well, as the cameraman struggles to pick them up. There go. they are, with Smoky <laughs> Devil on the back of DJ Phil. Dean. Has the gap come down slightly? Just a little bit, but not enough. Don't know, mate. Still about nine seconds off the back of Stolf Sloth at the moment. And the two DJ Motorsport Mercedes-Benz are trying to get on the back of this Renault. As the Smoky Devil does not want to be on the grass. Wet, wet race. Eight laps into this 22-lap race. Kelly just across the chicane there. There's a puddle, I noticed, just lay look, forming on the apex of that second part of the chicane, Liam. So that is going to throw a few drivers off. Yeah, I think it might have already thrown a couple drivers off, but hopefully that, that puddle will not get any worse than what it already is. Mm. Now, pit window is open this lap, so drivers can pit. So is this where we see Dean maybe come into the pit lane to make his stop then? Because you'd imagine getting in, getting over and done with earlier, rather, sooner rather than later. Look at the state of that SLS. It is battered and bruised, and Dean then will come into pits. In fact, Rabbit Joe, as well, he's going to come in, as is KLF 900. Yeah. So interesting, these early stops. Two drivers in, Smokey Devil and DJ Phil. They can't pit on the same lap, but they're going to be battling each other on track. And Smokey Devil going to the outside over his teammate, and his teammate DJ Phil lets him up the inside. And that goes P3 for Smokey Devil. But Smokey Devil's been making a few mistakes in this second race. And a flash of the lights to his teammate there to say thank you very much. But Smithy now into second place, ahead of well, uh, behind Welshie. Smoky Devil now running third. Dean Wasaki does come into the pit then for his stop. So oh, in he comes. So. Now the question is, is where is Stealth Sloth and Don't Know, mate? They've just unlapped themselves from Dean. Where can they be in relation to Dean by the end of this lap? Don't know, mate. Eight seconds behind Stealth Sloth, but Stealth Sloth has that 10 second time penalty. Had a bit of damage, says Joe, in the pits. That's why he's pitted. Says Rabbit oh. Joe. So interesting to see that from Joe that he's had a bit of damage and has pitted then. Got the damage out of the way early. Now that's sensible from me for Joe. Mm. Sensible to yeah, get that, that damage out of the way and it. get it done with him. Yeah, something that uh, Maze Gamer should have actually done for race one. Yes. Joe's done it a lot earlier though. As well, she has he just recovered from a mistake there? I think he may have done. Possibly. And Smithy is now only nine seconds behind him as he comes into the breaking zone of the hairpin. So um, bad damage as Dean. Now, this is where people don't read the rules and regulations because the rules and regulations stipulate that if you've got bad enough damage, by bad enough, it means yellow or red on the damage icon that you, you can have displayed on your screen, then that's you're able to pit with that before the pit window. If it's green, you can't. Now, Dean in race one had it 22. Now, that's clearly going to be green. If he's got bad damage now and it was yellow already, he's missed an opportunity to have pitted early. Don't know, mate, has found a way past Stolf Sloth. So has Stolf Sloth then made a mistake somewhere? In fact, has Don't Know, mate, made a mistake? He's not really pulling away. In fact, are them two battling? Let's just go back to them. Stolf Sloth's got back hair to Don't Know, mate. Um, there we go. Oh, Stolf Sloth's oh. got huge damage. As does Don't Know, mate. Now, what has happened there? He is off the track there as well. Um, maybe a bit of a collision between these two. Well, Dean may be safe for P7 then. 
But yeah, maybe a collision then, because that is not what you want. Dean's car may not have visually looked fixed, but uh, I, I assume he's repaired his damage, because otherwise... Well, I mean, he's, he, look, he's on for P7. Because them two's definitely got a pit again, as, as Stolf's often don't know, mate. They've got a pit again here. Well, she then, as Rabbit Joe is back in the pits. Now, did Joe oh. get caught up in all of that? You see... He he's got damage. Yeah, he's got a headlight out, Liam. Wow. So Joe must that have got caught up on that. Slow and steady wins the race in these conditions, says an orthodox in the chat. Joe back into the race. There goes his podium. Smoky Devil gaining on the back of Smithy. These two not pitted. Neither is Walshie. Neither has DJ Phil. Everybody else has. Now this could allow Dean to gain on Rabbit Joe just a little bit. Now where is Dean? He is miles off of Joe at the moment. But yeah, but depending on the length of the pit stop, that's the quite that's the thing, isn't it? Oh, Dean lagging a little bit there. We'll come off a of Dean for now, and we'll Would go you, back uh... to Kelly. We'll go back to Smithy then, as he's defending now from Smoky Devil down towards the final chicane. They come. Are any of these two thinking of pitting? Smoky Devil tucks back in as Smithy yeah. brings it into the pits. So Smithy deciding to pull the trigger and make sure that D uh, that Kelly doesn't get the undercut. T lap ten. For Smithy in the pits. That sounds like a Mercedes coming out the pits then. Um, yep, Rabbit is. Joe. Stelf Sloffen, don't know, mate, still in there. I'm off to get some sleep, lads. Good luck all. And my drive of the day is Smithy, says Dan. Oh, but rest up, Dan. We hope to have you back as soon as possible. And we'll get driver of the day in in just a moment. But uh, with Smithy into the pits, that's allowed DJ Phil up to P3. Where's Kelly? As Smithy's on his way out the pits now. Kelly is nowhere near at the moment. So good stop from Smithy. Kelly coming around now. Well, she leads this race by 11 seconds to Smokey Devil. 17 seconds to Phil. Smithy looks like he's going to be able to come out P4 now. He's off the limiter. But the wider line at turn one looks. So this is where Smithy can do a job. Dean did get past Rabbit Joe though, Liam. Oh. Don't know, mate. Jumps off, off in the pits as well. But Dean got past Rabbit Joe. So that's job done, and Smithy comes out ahead. Look at the puddles forming at the exit of the pit lane. Oh, I say oh, that. Dean. But Dean off and into the wall. Just got went in two. Just as you jumped to him, you just was so quick into that chicane, you could tell. Too much speed can hurt going through a turn, oh. especially right now. As tight as that and as wet as that, that has really put end to that race. Stelfsloff gets past. Don't know, mate, there then. Yeah. Assaulted as well. So oh, Stolf Sloth deep into the chicane and across the gravel he goes. And don't know, mate. Just struggling a bit in race two. I, I chucked him out to my curveball to win this one, but just struggling a little bit in this one here. But as she goes at the moment, it is Welshie, eight seconds out in front from Smoky Devil, who's just started lap 12. Welshie doing a fine, fine job at the minute. And Smithy's got KLF gaining and gaining and gaining on the back of him, just back from this battle here. Yeah. If, if we, yeah. Can we go to it? Yeah. 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 That's Welshy. Um, Smithy. There we go. There we go, Liam. There we go. We've got it. As the cameraman picks up Smithy now, just coming towards the final chicane here. There's Kelly just behind. 2.2 seconds is the gap between these two. And Dean, Dean's just gave himself some more damage tonight. He's just got to show. What's he got it, Liam? What's, what's Dean got to do? What's Joe got to do? What's May's got to do? Because they've all had bad nights. What have they got to do going into Sakito next week? Just practice. Practice, practice, practice. Reset? Until... Yeah. Just, just oh, now, forget about this race. Has, who's had an off? I think Phil has had a moment. Yes, he has. I saw yeah. the dot stopped. So, Phil, who's not yet pitted... Well, that could hurt him, his race. I mean, he may still finish P5 here, but that's going to hurt him instead, instead of overcutting Smithy and KLF. Dean's only within three seconds of Rabbit Joe. He's not now because he's facing the wrong way, look. Uh -oh. Stealth Sloth has unlapped himself once again, and Dean gets back going. And uh, there is Smithy, still that's ahead of KLF mean. then. Uh, there's Dean. There's Don't Know, mate, who's about to unlap himself as well. There's Welsh here. There's Smoky Devil. Them two are still to pit. So this like a little rivalry battle between Dean and Don't Know Me. Yeah. And uh, Don't Know Me, although he's a lap down, can unlap himself. But if Dean's still struggling, you'd fancy Don't Know Me to get past him. And maybe unlap himself and get back round again to catch Dean the way Dean's been going. Yeah. 
it is a possibility. I mean, don't know, mate. Not the greatest race, if you ask me, but definitely has the pace for the track. Oh, Dean wiggling all over the place. That wow. Mercedes SLS looks like it's got some damage. Then does it from Dean. And is Dean going to come in to repair it? Nope, stays out. And don't know, mate, they couldn't really get past because Dean was just wiggling all over the track. Who is that in? That's DJ Phil. So DJ Phil's now going to lose fourth and fifth. Smith, he actually has dropped down to fifth place to Kelly. But DJ Phil in at the end of lap 12. So Kelly's ahead of Smithy by some four seconds. So has Smithy had a problem somewhere? Oh, don't know, mate's just had a problem. Lost the rear round, it goes. Oh. What a shame for him. But back to Welshie out front then. And uh, he's got five seconds to Smokey Devil. Smokey Devil's just chipping away at his time here. And Smithy definitely made a mistake with the last lap. A one minute 55 was his time. So not the best lap from Smithy, but still time for Smithy to get himself on the podium. Now, I'm not sure what pit in to pit out is here. I, th I reckon it's about 30 seconds for a good stop. So at the moment, well, she will come out ahead of KLF and Smithy as will Smokey Devil at the moment. Lap 13 to 22, Smithy, uh, Smokey Devil and Walsh are the only two left to pit. And well, this Lamborghini looks a different car after race one to race two. We've lost, don't know, mate. So he has retired from this race. Oh. And what a shame that is because he had a good first race, but that's his, that's a retirement for him. Yeah, and it's not three-quarter um, distance. That'll go down as a retirement. It'll, uh, yeah, not help. Go on, Liam, what was you going to say? Nah, I was going to say, this race just feels a bit more mellowed out now. Nah. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? it? The, the, the rain as well, it just doesn't seem as bad as race one, if you ask me. It doesn't seem as intense, but we are only just coming up to... We've only just passed the halfway mark of this race. It is a quieter race too, not as many battles going off. We're down to eight drivers like we was in race one. Smokey Devil will be hoping for a good bit of fortune at the minute as Smithy looks to try and gain on the back of Kelly once again. There's not as many people dropping it on their own. It's as if they've learnt from race one and they've learnt to control it in race two here and, and realise where the puddles are and everything. Yeah. Even you seem, as, even you seem quieter in this one, Liam. I do seem very quiet in this one. I think I've about killed my throat when uh, Smithy joined the party earlier. <laughs> Stove soft then, way behind Dean, but I fancy Stove soft to maybe catch Dean. Smithy, 2.6 off the back of Kelly, but as we know, Kelly said, the more this race got on, the worse it got. And there is Dean just struggling once again. And Stove soft unlaps himself and he's 1 minute 22 behind Dean. Well, I fancy Stove soft to get ahead of Dean by the end of this race. Not going to lie. Yeah, it is a I think Dean. I think Dean's got to pit again, for person, to be honest with you. I think Dean's got to pit again. That car, that car looks too twitchy. Looks a bit yeah, like Maze Gamers, don't you think? Oh, Stealth. Is, yeah. Stealth. I think he's hit the wall, so Stealth Sloth may not catch Dean now, as they both may have to pit. But Dean has just got... what? Oh, I, I, two weeks ago, me and Dan were singing this guy's praises. And then Al Garvin this week just... I don't know. Maybe he jinxed him. Well, either way, Welsh leads this race two seconds to get now. Smoky Devil has chipped and chipped and chipped away at this one and has brought that gap down here. And two seconds is the gap now, but both of these two have to pull the trigger and pit at some stage. Smoky Devil made a few mistakes early on in this race and has cut them out. He's managed to keep it going in this second part. It looks now like he's got into a rhythm where he can just gain onto this Lamborghini. Welsh at KLF is under, th for, for, under 40 seconds to Welshie. Smithy just over 40 seconds. But I get the feeling that they're as well chipping some time away from Welshie. Can they bring that down and jump him in the pits? Welshie having an outstanding race at the moment and having an outstanding second race. Compared to what happened in race one, Welsh is driving brilliantly, although that wasn't the best of exits from the chicane. Looked like he couldn't get the power down straight away. They've lapped up to DJ Phil. So the only guys on the first, on the lead lap is Smithy, Kelly, Smokey Devil and Walshie. But when Walshie pits and Smokey Devil pits, DJ Phil will go on to the lead lap, as will Rabbit Joe. Dean, I'm not sure about. The gap's now down to one and a half seconds. Smokey Devil to Welshie. If Phil there, a bit of a twitch. Joe, he's nine seconds off the back of DJ Phil. So can Joe get a, find a couple more points in him? This isn't good for their championship in the Constructors. With Nicky still to take double points and Kelly outscoring you tonight. That's not really where you want to be, is it? No, it's not. Um, it, 
it's all about the points. Unfortunately, points mean everything. The team prolapse chipped away at Forever Forward in race one, and they're going to do the same thing here in race two. Will we speak to Kelly on the podium for a second time? No, we'll wait and see because Smithy is just chipping away at Kelly's time. Them two are the second, yeah, the fourth and third quickest on the track because Joe is in the 46s. He's the quickest car on track, is Rabbit Joe. Uh, Smoky Devils got past Welsh. You know, we didn't see that one. But as Welsh, he made a mistake somewhere because he's 1.1 behind Smoky Devil. And the lead's now down to 36 seconds between Smokey Devil and uh, KLF. But Smokey now leads. And when he led in race one, he made mistakes. Can he now keep this going in race two? Well, she's lost out. Is now half a second behind Smokey Devil. So is he just starting to gain? Has Smokey made a mistake somewhere? Is Welsh just being a bit more attacking now that he's lost out to Smokey and wants to put the pressure back on him? Although it looks like the Mercedes is a lot stronger there. Because look at DJ Phil trying to unlap himself to Welshy. Um... To be honest, in this race, the Mercedes seems so much more dominant. Than Does, doesn't it? Looks a lot one. better. Looks a lot better yeah. in this second race. As uh, Maybe, Welshie then. Um, I, I, I think this is something, obviously, something happened. It was a while back, but I think we noticed every session is different when it comes to rain. And it seems that it this is, yeah. session must be more um, swaying away for the Mercedes and the Lamborghini because Welsh had a terrible race one as yeah. well didn't he and, he and he's had a better race too uh, still though the Renault and the Porsche continue look let's go back to Kelly and Smithy a minute because they're quite close to each other now has Kelly made a mistake somewhere Smithy lapping in the 47s was actually the quickest man on track last time around as that's Dean who's had another mistake in the background uh, I just don't know what to say if he's got damage surely he's better off pitting and repairing the damage and getting to the end than keep adding to that damage but Smithy here look he's trying to put some pressure on Kelly we said later in the race Smithy's Porsche looked a lot that looked the best car on the grid and we get into lap 18 or 20, uh, 16 or 22 and Smithy's car once again looks the best car on the grid yeah and uh, he isn't that far off from a podium he's, he's well it's, it's, it's Kelly isn't it it's just it's there the podium's right there and Kelly yeah has struggled through that part of the track all night tonight that second chicane has not been where the Renault's benefited Smithy though gains that little bit more and as they come around this little bend then different lines being taken you're going to see that in the wet weather and Smithy starting to put some pressure on Kelly he's just had a, a bit of a breathing space as Kelly and Smithy onto the brakes in towards the hairpin corner he goes now and that's job negotiated for Smithy as the cameraman struggles to pick them up there we are Cameraman being very naughty today. He is. Me. He is. 1.3 seconds. The gap. Smithy to KLF. 900 then. And into the final chicane we go. Now, what's happened out front? Because well, she's got the lead back. As Smoky Devil made another mistake. Because even DJ Phil's unlapped himself as he pulls over to let his teammate through. It's all kicking off at the front. And this is going to allow. These two, don't forget, out front have still got to pit. 30 oh. seconds, we reckon, for a pit stop. In and out. As we've lost. Oh, oh sloth. Well, she's off. No. Oh. Well, she's off, and oh, we've no. lost Elf Sloth before the three-quarter distance. He needed to get to the end of lap 18, and he hasn't. So no points there for Stealth Sloth and another retirement. But is that Smoky Devil who now leads by eight seconds to Welshie? Joey's gaining on the back of DJ Phil as well. And at the minute, Liam, it is going the way of Nicky and Kelly for maybe another race win for one of them. Smoky Devil would love a race win this season he's been on the podium a fair few times but has not won a race this season shame Soslov's retired because he could have caught Dean I reckon in this race but Joe now gaining on the back of Smoky Devil look is that Smoky in the wall um, that, that one is yeah that one is Smoky Smoke. yeah so Smoky's yeah. in the wall well she's now 10 seconds behind Smoky's coming in oh so of one of the two Taking the pit stops finally. I, th I think Welsh will come in this lap as well, but I think Kelly and Smithy will get past them as yes. Welsh. Look, in comes Welsh. Everybody has now pitted them, and I think these two may get past Smokey and Welsh with damage to their car. I think it's 30 seconds in and out, so they might just be on the cusp of Smokey, but they'll definitely both get Welsh, I reckon. What a shame we've lost drivers tonight. People just retiring. What a shame. You know, just get to the end. Smithy, Smithy's a big example of getting to the end and being there at the end of the night. I don't think them two have repaired damage because them two are already on their way out. Oh, Kelly. 
Oh no, well she's in. Smokey Devil's on his way out. So well she's still in. Smokey's out. I don't think Smokey's repaired damage, but he may not have needed to repair damage. Now these two will be back on the podium ahead of Welshy. So Welshy just then drops off the podium now into P4. But Smith is an example, Liam, of get to the end, finish the race. Yeah. We've lost Bryn, we've lost um, Ovsloff. Mace Game has not made race two. Dean retired race one. It just doesn't set a very good precedent, does it? No, it doesn't. And for people like Smithy, he's the role model people should be looking up to. You know, he's admitted on several occasions he's not the greatest driver. He's just here for the fun. And he turns up, races, never retires. Yeah, so and look, and look at what it's got him. It, him it, look, look at what it's got him. It's got him a race win now, Liam. It's, the perseverance has paid off. It's got him a race win. He's putting pressure on Kelly now for a second place. Smokey Devil's just there up the road. Look, 3.7 the gap to Kelly. So Smokey Devil needs to, you know, just keep going, but making sure he stays on track. He's just started to make a few mistakes since he's been back in the lead. He needs to get that rid of their mistakes. Down to seven drivers, lap 18 of 22. Guys in the chat, get your votes in for driver of the day. And Smokey Devil then Ooh, has made a mistake, and so is Kelly. And Smithy's going to come through, you reckon, for P2. No, Kelly gets that job, make sure it's done. But no, now Smithy round the outside gets the job done on Kelly. And Smokey Devil there kind of got let off for his mistake as the gap stays as it is, but Smithy's up to second. Second. And Smokey wow. Devil, though, has got a mistake in him. Rabbit Joe got past DJ Phil as well, but we'll stay with this for the time being. There's Welshy, there's Smithy, there's Kelly. Smokey Devil, 3.2 up the road. Did he get damage from that spin? Ooh, I don't know if we're going to be able to find that. It doesn't he's made like mistakes, though, Liam, damage. since he's taken the lead of this race, doesn't he? Smokey yeah. Devil has definitely made mistakes. Smithy has gapped KLF by near enough a second. That Porsche is gaining stronger and it was about this time in the last race where we said that Smithy, could he take another race? Could he take his first race win and catch Mays? Are we saying it again? Lap 19 of 22. We've got four laps to go. And Smithy here, if Smokey Devil makes a few more mistakes, could be on for the London buses. And Smokey Devil having oh. a bit of a slide. And all of a sudden, Smithy could be licking his lips again. Where's Argent with the London buses when you need them? Oh, yes. Um, we'll, we'll see what happens at the end of the race. Three laps to go. Could Smithy take the lead of the race again with two laps to, to go? Well, we'll look, out. anything is possible. Anything is doable. And, and, yeah. and, and for this man, what a night he has had. 2.4 seconds is the gap. And Smokey Devil again, a little twitch up front in the foreground you saw there as we go back towards Smithy, who looks like he's had a wiggle himself because Kelly's now gained on the back half a second. Is that gap back? Joe up into fifth place. He's got forever forward a few more points, but Kelly. And, and with Team Prolapse losing points because he's now from second to third, mm. but race is on here between these three for this race win and for the yeah. order of the podium because Smokey Devil just making a few mistakes and this Porsche is growing and growing and growing in confidence. Joe, the quickest man on track, the next quickest man was Smithy in the 51. So yes, Rabbit Joe's doing 47s, but he's 48 seconds down the road. It's too late maybe to gain on Welshie. That's nine seconds. He might gain on him. He might gain fourth place. But at the minute, it's Smithy who is looking the most threatening. Come on, Smithy, says PN Motorsport in the chat. Dean is back into the pits once again. Nothing to lose, I suppose. He's, he's going to come seventh place. He's going to gain seventh place points. 100 on the back for five laps. Why haven't you pitted when you got 100 on the back? I don't know, but okay. As uh, Smithy yep. then is, uh, is second place. He's lost out a bit to Smokey Devil, as is the power of the Merc down the straights. And Smithy was a tenth quicker, but Smokey Devil, did he make a mistake there, or was that just the line he's taking? Driver of the day two, says PN Motorsport for Smithy. Oh. And... Um, yeah, I, I think Smithy is going to get the driver of the day today, but Smokey Devil, I, lap 20 of 22, is just crawling around. Sorry, Liam. I, I, I think he well deserves it as well. If, it, if Smithy gets driver of the day, I think it's well deserved. First win and uh, race win, should I say, for first race and second place as it is um, for race two. But we need, to, we need to see what happens at the end of this race because I'm, I'm, I'm crossing my fingers hoping that... 
it could happen again. Smoky Devil's made a mistake coming out of the first chicane and Smith he's got the gap down to under a second and Smoky Devil just made a mistake on the exit to the first chicane and look how loose that Mercedes is up and over the hill and lap 20 of 22 same again Smithy is licking his lips at the race lead Dean oh. was back Kelly Smoky yes. Devil you cannot ride this stuff he's round and Smithy leads and all of a sudden the London oh. buses is coming true yes and for Smithy yeah. here, he leads this race by nine tenths of a second to, to KLF 900. Wow, could you dream wow. the impossible? For anybody, uh, for anybody wow. who, who criticises anything, who gives up, who doesn't commit, who thinks what's the point, for people like Dean who spin constantly, these two are mm. consistent. And look at them. First and second, Smithy's made a mistake. Ooh. Kelly's now going to have a look up the inside, and Kelly leads. A flash of the lights from KLF may have just put Smithy off into the braking zone. But these two make wow. you want to drive. These two make you want to race. Mr. Consistent and the guy that never gives up. Who looks better than that? He looks better in that Porsche than the Renault with KLF, if I'm going to be honest with you. And he's attacking Kelly. Ooh. And is he going to look around the outside, risky maneuver with the puddles? No, he looks up the inside. Oh. It's, yeah, he's cut back up the inside. Bit of a wiggle and he's had to get out of that one and lets Kelly go. Smokey Devil still in the background. He looks like he could make a move somewhere as well. But Kelly now leads this race. Wow. So how much can change within that lap? What a lap. Smokey Devil's wow. gone. He's dropped it somewhere. He's gone again. So it's a straight shootout between the front two. Lap 21 of 22. It's a shootout between these two boys. Smithy versus KLF. The Porsche looking strong, but the Renault looking a bit stronger in this second race. And Rabbit Joe, who got up to fifth and saw Kelly drop to third, would have thought, yes, damage limitation in the constructors, but not now. Maze Gamer, who's not here for this second race, will see his championship position deficit halved. As Kelly, one and a half ahead of Smithy now, has just got to bring it home. Smithy, I'm sure, will still take a P2. Get your folks in for driver of the day. But Smithy at the minute looking good value for money for a podium. Kelly looking good for a win. But anything can happen with one lap to go. Yeah, um, dreamly impossible. <laughs> Dear me. But no, seriously, <laughs> Smithy dreams the impossible. And look at what it's doing to him. He is second place. We've lost oh, Dean. Dean's gone. Now, uh, he's got to three quarter distance, so we'll score a, point, a couple of points for seventh. But that is two retirements for Dean. We're down to six drivers. And when I say, look at these guys who don't stay committed, this is what I mean. People just retiring like that, disconnecting like yeah. that. It's just, it's just, what is the point? Get to the end. You're not going to learn anything retiring. Kelly, nine tenths ahead of Smithy. Who's got six seconds to Smoky Devil? Well, she's fourth. Joe's fifth. DJ Phil is sixth place. All the action is happening. Kelly's on the grass. Yeah. Kelly was on the grass. As much as we want to go see Joe and Walsh, we may ch ch chase to that now. Yeah, chase to it now quickly. But Kelly was on the grass. Joe looking for a place to gain on Walsh as they go on to the last lap as well. Walsh deep into the chicane. Joe's looking around the outside now. Onto the curb he goes. I don't think he's going to get it. Is he going to sneak up the inside? Oh, just avoids the tyre wall. Walsh gives him just enough room. The gap out front, six tenths of a second. Let's go back as Joe goes up the inside. This is where Kelly seems to struggle and has struggled most of his night. Needs to make sure he gets through this bit and does so. Smithy's right on his tail though. He's right there. Smithy knows. Five and a half back to Smoky Devil. He knows this is his last chance for a race win. Well, a second race win. He's got to look up the inside. Oh, he's sending one. Smithy, can he get it stopped? No, he can't. Kelly's no. got him done. But Smithy there. Had nothing to lose, had everything to gain. He went for the sendy, he couldn't pull it off. What a shame. Guys, get your vote in for driver of the day. Wow. But Smithy, 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 it's not over yet. They've got to negotiate this chicane. And as they come round the final chicane now, it's going to be Ooh. Kelly who is going to take the race win. And another race win for KLF this season. Smithy pushes him to the end and gets him on the podium.
A first and a second for Smithy, what a night. A third place for Smoky Devil in the end. What a job from him. Welshy looks like he's going to take P4. Not sure what's happened to Rabbit Joe. But Joe's going to come home for P5. But Liam, he tried to send it. Wow. It didn't he come off, but it. he tried it. No. He tried it, but he, he, as long as he break that little bit earlier, he, he could have got that done. He could have got yeah. that move done. Yeah. Superb try, Smithy. Driver of the day, no question. Apologies, KLF, for that tight corner, says Smithy. Well done, KLF, says Jamie. And fair play, says, uh, fair play Smithy, says Jamie. Mike Matthews, Dean, quit again, he says. You've got three-quarter distance, we'll be able to score points. Meant to break earlier, attempted an undercut, massive failure. Well, she comes across for a P4, we await for Rabbit Joe, who's here. So he got past Rose, he must have lost it somewhere on the last lap. DJ Phil's a fair way back as well. But six drivers finishing to the end, and tonight's been a real test of character and a test of who can get to the end. A test of who can yeah. stomach the rain in Zolder. As we go to tomorrow night, sweet and sticky will be in your box. We'll have to get, uh, we'll have to get Smokey Devil in for an interview as well. But here comes DJ Phil to cross the line. We await the fastest lap of this race. And then we go to the points. Smithy on double points. What has that done for him? We don't know, mate. Not scoring a lot, I imagine. Fastest lap goes the way of Smoky Devil. So he will take an extra two points there. An, well, an extra two, one point, sorry. An extra point for fastest lap. But we had six finishes. KLF, Smithy, Smoky Devil, Walshy, Rabbit, Joe, DJ, Phil. We lost Dean Wasaki. We lost our sloth. We lost, don't know, mate. A mage game at no show for this second race. Liam gets Smoky Devil in for an interview. We'll hopefully get Smithy and KLF back in as well. Smithy, definitely driver of the day. Uh, great racing, you two. Congrats, Kelly, on the win. Smithy, what a night for you. That's what I want to see every week. Smithy, elbows out, mate, and not letting people pass proper racing. Thank you. Much appreciated, says Smithy. Very enjoyable. Um, Liam, my driver today, Smithy, yourself? I, I think it's so obvious what I'm going to say, but Smithy all the way. Smithy all the way. And uh, we're just quickly going to run you through the Drivers and Constructors Championship before we get to the interviews. But the Drivers Championship looks like this. Mays Gamers, 50-odd point lead is now cut down to 20 to KLF. So that's game on. Argent's 51 points back with Rabbit Joe. Six points behind uh, his teammate. Nicky is then in fifth place, but he's still got double points to take. Well, she P8 uh, ahead of Smithy. P7 now for Smithy. He's gone ahead of Smoky Devil by two points, but Smoky Devil will have to use his double points next week, as will DJ Philly's P9. Don't know, mate. Drops to P10 after tonight's racing with self Soft 11. Football 12, Dean 13th, and Alfie. 14th place forever forward to team prolapse 19 points the gap then there that constructors battle is going to go down to the end and with Nicky having double points to use next week I fancy team prolapse could be the new constructors champions in the prime team prolapse is still third but DJ Motorsport are one point behind them MC Motorsport 284 they've dropped off from DJ Motorsport a bit but are still in it AA 3D printed have now got Team Cool Runnings as well as Iron Brew Racing to consider because Team Cool Runnings have gone up to two points behind them and the Flying Dutchman bringing up the rear. But we'll start with Smokey Devil. And uh, Smokey, a disappointment in race one with the, uh, with the disconnection, but uh, a tricky night for race two. Oh, that was hard. That was a lot of and a half, that. How was the conditions in that Mercedes? Because the Merce looked awful all night. It was actually the start, of, I'd say the first five laps, it was a bit of a handful in the last five laps, it was really bad as well, but midway, once you get used to it, it was actually not too bad. Podium the again for you, yeah sorry, the last, po po five, the last five laps, it was just undrivable. Oh right, yeah, that bad. Aye, uh, as soon as you got into turn two, that was that you, yeah. you put the foot in. Podium, you, podium you for yourself again tonight back. buddy. Um, Another one to add to the long list of podiums. You just can't seem to break that duck. I mean, you've got a race win, but you just can't seem to break that duck this season of getting the race win. No, just kind of get it. I thought I was going to get it tonight, and then the last couple of laps, it just went away for me. I like a day. Um, double points next week at Sakito. Um, that could put you up into the top six, maybe top five of the championship. With, with you coming in a bit later as well, what a season you've had. Oh, I have been very happy with the season I've had, so... I'll look forward to the next season, hopefully, can be up there in the top, top <laughs> three anyway, do you know what I mean? Yeah, no, greatly so. Well done, buddy, tonight, and we look forward to seeing you next week. No, but cheers. Cheers, buddy. We've got Smithy in for P2, and, mate, you gave it a good go at that last bit. Sutty would have been proud if you'd have played that one, Stick. 
I, I took that a bit too quick to be fair. I tried to get an undercut, but I under broke myself. You've climbed. I had nothing to lose in that race, to be fair. Yeah, no, 100%. You've yes. climbed from P14 all the way up to P7 because of double points. What a night that's to crazy. take them. Yeah, that's crazy. That's, that's a lot of luck. <laughs> well, I, you, you say luck, but I also. To... You, you go on, sorry. That's fair play to KLF. Fair play. Yeah. He's, you... he's up there at the top. You say look, Smithy, but I think you've just drove well tonight. I think other people have made the mistakes around you. I think you've you've been the one that's, that's had a good night. All in all, though, a first and a second. You cannot, even if it wasn't double points, you cannot grumble with that. Look, what an effort! Oh, no, no that's, that's I'm really happy with that. I can't complain. You also can't got the complain. you also got the vote for driver of the day. So you are the driver that's, of the day. That's much appreciated. Thank you, everyone. Um, so you can thank everybody for that. Uh, Suzuka Sakito next week. What are you hoping for around there? More that more of the same. More at the front. Nah, that's a hard track. <laughs> There's not many overtaking spots I can find on there. Well, let's see if Unless it rains it's for you. Rain. Yes. Yeah, if it rains, then yeah. <laughs> well, well done, mate. We'll wish you the best of Cheers, luck for mate. next Thank week. You very much. Cheers, buddy. Thanks, and Kelly, um, another win for yourself, another win for the Renault. Yeah. Um, team Pro yeah. Laps closing that gap massively on Forever Forward. Yeah, yeah, we're hunting them down, that's for certain sure. Um, first things first, hats off to Smithy. Um, if we had to race every week in the, in the wet, Smithy would be right up there. Um, towards the front end of the championship that was one of the hardest battles I've ever had um, to try and uh, catch him and keep him behind afterwards just yeah, yeah. The, la the last move I did see him coming from a mile off to be fair I thought he ain't <laughs> slowing that down you know and well, she went past me I thought happy days but uh, so so difficult out there now every race we've had that's wet all the way through like that we go back to Zoo High we go back to here Smithy and you have seemed to have cracking battles um, yeah Testament though to yourself tonight. You you know a third place in race one. You, you yep. nearly had Maze Gamer win here tonight. You've had a good yep. night yourself as well. I've had a fantastic night, yeah, and it's uh, game on for the championship again, isn't it? And uh, a couple of weeks ago, I thought I was uh, pretty much out of it and I wasn't going to catch back up, but uh, but um, yeah, a couple of good rounds and and things turn around mm. uh, really quickly, which is which is great. Um, you're now on to 41 appearances. You're getting closer to that illustrious 50th appearance mark which you'll make next season um, but the wins are starting to flow now that's put you on to four wins all together you know you mm. tied now with Holty one behind people like Andy and Argent BT Targa the only uh, sorry two behind the only G um, that, that list of names is you know it's a good list of names to yeah. be around on terms of race wins yeah absolutely I certainly need a couple of more don't I because yeah I want to be rubbing shoulders with those names that's for sure what can you do next week, Kelly Sakito? I know it's a track you've said in the past you like. What can um, you do there? Yeah, well, I won't be doing anything, mate. I won't be here, will oh, I? Oh, no. You want, oh, you, yes, you're not Which I'm gutted week. about. Which I'm gutted about because oh, it is my favourite track of the year. So, um, yes, no, so, so yeah, I'll pray, I'll pray for rain so Smithy can have a, another couple of wins and he can take points away from the other guys. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm gutted. I'll be tuning in, uh, in and out. But, um, yeah, unfortunately, I won't be here. So, um, um, yeah, no good with that yeah. one, I'm afraid. Um, just before we go, I just want to um, dedicate this win to a friend of mine that I lost um, last week. Uh, he was a fellow DJ who passed away, had a um, um, heart attack and, and passed away last Thursday. And I just want to dedicate this one to Tilly Thomas. Uh, this one's for you. Yeah, well said there, Kelly. Um, nice, nice, test uh, nice sentiment there as well. And uh, obviously, I don't know the guy, but uh, yep, nice to nice to out race win for him. Yep. in his honour and uh, rightly said um, we, that's all we've got time for Liam any final words um, the only final words I want to say is thank you for letting me be on commentary it's been brilliant to be able to be on it again after so long and hopefully I can do another one before the end of the season what a night worth of racing but Sweet and Sticky will be in your box tomorrow night Sweet for the Pro box, Series bye. and, uh, and if, it's, if the weather's anything to go like it was tonight we could be in for an Look absolute out. crackerjack um, especially if the rumours have it that Unorthodox will be on the pad just to try and score hey. some points um, but either way we're going to be in for a cracking night um, the Mercedes drivers may have their work cut out the BMW drivers may have their work cut out who could win tomorrow night? Could we see Gary 131 back on the top step? Or maybe a little leech. Smithy will be on the blower to them, giving them some tips and tricks of where the puddles are, no doubt. But that's all we've got time for. We'll be back for the Pro-Am round Sakito next week, live at 8pm GMT. And we'll be back for the Pro tomorrow night at, uh, at Zolder. Uh, but uh, tune in tomorrow. Like and subscribe if you are new. We'll catch you later. Good night.
Liam's just gone straight away. Okay. Bye, bye, Liam. Well done tonight, boys. Well done. Thank you very much. Smith. <laughs> Smith is my idol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to be fair, mate, honestly, you did drive really well. And when I said, um, you know, that was one of the best races, well, it was the best. You know, kind of like, I mean, it was hard work out there, wasn't it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It was, it was yeah. really, really hard going. And, and I don't really want to ever do that again. But as for <laughs> kind of race, you know, and fair, I, I mean, I think, um, I don't think we touched much of any time, did we? No. No, no. no. And um, although I hit the front of Stealth Sloth, 